ओके सो हेयर वी गो विद द पेपर बेसिकली एक पेपर में जनरली इनके पेपर में देयर आर वैलिडिटी क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वी हैव टू अटेम्प्ट आउट ऑफ द 200 क्वेश्चंस इसमें से वी जनरली गेट 90% ऑफ बायो टू अटेम्प्ट एंड वी गेट 45 फ्रॉम फिजिक्स टू अटेम्प्ट 45 फ्रॉम केमिस्ट्री टू अटेम्प्ट टोटल जो क्वेश्चंस होता है 50 अटेम्प्ट करना पड़ता है 45 ये टोटल क्वेश्चंस होते हैं सो हमें अटेम्प्ट करना पड़ता है 90 ठीक है ना तो अब प्रश्न चालू करने से पहले एक बात और बता देते हैं दैट हियर इज आवर लॉग ऑफ क्वेश्चंस दैट वी हैव टू सॉल्व and here we have got first the question says that is question of botany so let us start first theek hai na questions karte karte we'll get to know more about how to approach the question theek hai na the time is running but that's not panic us okay that's the very first thing that we should keep in mind so what the what does the first question say the, the fruit juices available commercially at clearer than most of home which ingredient is added in commercially available fruit juices agar ye question padhne ke baad ye baat agar dimag mein khalti hai ki ye line ncert se uthai gayi hai तो एनसीआरटी ढंग से पढ़ी गई है इसका ठीक है ना क्वेश्चन है फ्रॉम चैप्टर्स ऑफ माइक्रोब्स एंड ह्यूमन वेलफेयर ओके अब यहां पर ऑप्शन है पेक्टिनेस एंड प्रोटीन्स व्हाई बिकॉज़ ये जनरली क्या करता है ना ये ये होता है क्लैरिफाइंग एजेंट्स व्हिच जनरली मेक द फूड जूसेस क्लियर व्हाइल द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग व्हिच हमें रियल या फिर मिनट मेड इन सब के ट्रैक्स में दिखता है अगले क्वेश्चन में जाएंगे तो हेमोफीलिया सिकल सेल एनीमिया सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस सेलेसेमिया फिनाइल किडनी इंडिया पॉलीडिक्टली क्लाइंट टू सिंपल में बहुत सारे डिसऑर्डर्स दे दिया गया है हमें बोला इनमें से ऑटोसोमल डिसऑर्डर्स कितने हैं कोई मेंडेलियन ऑटोसोमल डिसऑर्डर्स क्रोमोसोमल डिसऑर्डर्स में से नहीं चलेगा ठीक है ना ऑटोसोमल डिसऑर्डर्स होने वाले हैं हेमोफीलिया एक्स एक्स लिंक्ड नहीं हो सकता सिकल सेल एनीमिया ऑटोसोमल है ठीक है सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस ठीक है थैलेसेमिया ठीक है फिनाइल किडनी इंडिया ये भी ये भी चलेगा ठीक है पॉलीडिक्टली पॉलीडिक्टली तो एक क्रोमोसोमल डिसऑर्डर है वो नहीं होगा क्लाइन फिल्टर सिंड्रोम ये भी नहीं होगा कार्टोनो सिंड्रोम ये भी नहीं होगा दोनों एक्सेलेंट है ठीक है तो अगर हम बात पे आते हैं कि इन क्वेश्चंस के लिए आपको जेनेटिक्स का जो बेसिक कांसेप्ट है इसमें जेनेटिक्स का कोई कैलकुलेशन नहीं लगेगा यहां पर ये एक थ्योरेटिकल क्वेश्चन है कि यहां पर हमें अपने बेसिक सेंसेस को यूज करना पड़ेगा तो टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट वी कम ओवर दैट टू सी कि मेंडेलियन ऑटोसोमल बोले हैं तो यहां पर काउंट करते हैं चलिए सिकल सेल एनीमिया सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस थैलेसेमिया फिनाइल किडनीरिया पॉलीडिक्टली अपने हिसाब से तो यहां पे पांच आ रहे हैं इट्स फाइव condition in which there is one, one to many or one to few chromosomes is called one to many or one to few chromosomes ka matlab kya hua ki jab hum logon ne jab basically uh, gametes form hote hain to what what is happening there is disjunction of chromosomes or what happens sometimes you know the chromosomes can't get junction matlab suppose this is a cell which is supposed to get its chromosomes junction like this but failure to do so that means ye nahi raha and he either chala gaya this situation is called aneuploidy which is the situation over here is kagla more than 900 destruction enzymes have been isolated from over 250 strains of bacteria 1963 mein there are two enzymes responsible for destructing the growth of bacterial phage in escherichia coli which were isolated and some key tools for recombinant dna technology are destruction enzyme poly, poly, polymerase enzyme ligase receptors and host of organisms and they have given us one more option that is e coli they will cut the dna within the A and T only when the sequence G A A T T C is present in the DNA. E coli, one endonuclease enzyme, endonuclease enzyme. So, where does it cut? It doesn't cut in A or T. It doesn't cut. It's not like that. Okay, right? E coli, center doesn't cut in the center. It cuts in the side. Okay, right? This option is incorrect. The rest of the options, for us to understand, it's difficult to understand whether they are correct or not. Okay, right? Even for a person who has studied in CRT. So, we need to find out some options which have vulnerability. That is more important when you are solving a paper. Okay, a polysaccharide of cartilage is which one? Chondroitin, chondroitin sulfate, eicin, or cartilage? Chondroitin sulfate, which is the one that is present in the cartilage, is present in the cartilage. But the chondroitin, which is actually a polysaccharide of cartilage, that is actually the correct answer. But let me tell, tell about what are the remaining things. Cartilage is a term which is just made. Eicin is a term which is actually used for bone. Eicin protein is the Main protein which is present in bone, in organic constituents, the main protein. Okay. So the answer over here is chondroitin. Its का गलाय alien DNA को मैंने अगर cell one से मैंने अगर इसके अंदर introduce करा दिया, तो ये किस पे grow करेगा? आ अब देखिए cell one जो था ना cell one tetracycline का part था, ampicillin का part नहीं था. तो cell one जो है, उसको अगर मैं tetracycline में grow कराऊँगा ना, अब मैंने अगर basically हम लोग एक बार PBR theory को draw 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 कर लेते हैं. ये क्या है? ये हमारा है. 
this woman has to put salta and we had a tetracycline part and here we had an ampicillin resistance part so maine agar yahan par maine agar apna salivan rakha tha pehle which is now replaced to kya ho gaya iska tetracycline resistance is gone so it which its ampicillin resistance will now work only that means the transformant can grow on ampicillin and not tetracycline these are the things which need to be kept in mind biotech mode is easy but it seems tough when questions like these come because people don't remember the structure or they don't understand the concept of what does transformant mean what does alien dna mean what does pbr to what does CB, what does p stands what does br stands what does p2 stands these sare points kaafi acche se clear hone chahiye agar aapko biotech mein acha score karna hai iske aage dekhenge to kya raha hai biomagnification of ddt it causes decline in bird population how by one baking big thing is thinning of vessels and premature baking of vessels because ye ab main bata do ye mbbs mein log padhte hai ddt jo hai na ye na calcium antagonist hai इसका ह्यूमन फीटस से भी काफी गंदा इफेक्ट पड़ता है तो बेसिकली कैल्शियम मेटाबॉलिज्म खराब होगा और कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट से एक्सेल्स बनते हैं एंड हेंस क्या होगा कि उनका प्रीमैच्योर ब्रेकिंग ड्यू टू द थिनिंग हैपेंस दैट्स ऑल ऑफ द अबव ठीक है व्हाट टाइप ऑफ गैमेट्स विल बी फॉर्मड बाय द जेनोटाइप आर आर वाई वाई हमेशा एक बात याद रखना अगर अपने अपने पास अगर ऐसा है तो हम लोगों को गिनना पड़ेगा डिग्री ऑफ हेटरोसाइगोसिटी यहां पे डिग्री ऑफ हेटरोसाइगोसिटी भी टू है तो नंबर ऑफ गैमेट्स फॉर्म विल बी और 2 टू द पावर एन सॉरी हां 2 टू द पावर एन एन स्टैंड्स फॉर द नंबर ऑफ गैमेट्स it will be equal to four four types of gametes will be formed four types to har ek ek mein diya hua hai now we have to make out which four one let's combine capital r capital y we get capital r capital y we get one capital r small y one cap one one small r small y and one capital small r and capital y so kya hoga r y r y r y and r y there are will be four option mein search karna padega which one option 2 is eliminated option One can be the answer. Option three is also not correct. Option four is also not correct because they all have same same things. Okay, मिला जो लाते हैं. Option four क्यों गलत है मैं बोल देता हूँ. Option four में आपको देखिएगा चार options different different. Option three में जैसे देखिए R R Y R Y. पहला दोनों देखिए same option तो ये गलत ही गलत है. Second option में क्या है small R small Y देखिए repeat हो रहा है. वो भी गलत है. पर क्या हो रहा है? Option four में जो है ना वहाँ पर सारे options इस क्यों नहीं क्या? But they have different options like small r, small r, capital R, capital R, or capital Y, capital Y. ये कैसे कहूँ सकते हैं? Genome type form करने का मतलब ये है ना कि हमको दोनों types of दोनों classes of gametes को ना mix करना पड़ेगा. Mix करके you have to form something new. ठीक है ना? So keep that in mind while you solve the question. आगे आते हैं. If a cell A with OP10 bars and TP4 bars, I can get a cell B, C, D having OP1, TP4 and 4, 10 and 5, 7 and 3. Flow of water will be from which to which? तो देखते हैं. हम लोगों के पास चलिए इसको सॉल्व करने के लिए कुछ श्रम करना पड़ेगा तो सेल ए एक बीच में उठा लेते हैं उसके साथ एक तरफ सेल बी एक तरफ सेल सी और एक तरफ सेल डी ठीक है अब मेरे को बोला ओ पी एन टी पी ओ पी क्या है और ओ पी क्या है अपने पास ऑस्मोटिक पोटेंशियल ऑस्मोटिक ऑस्मोटिक पोटेंशियल ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर और टी टी पी क्या है ट्यूबर प्रेशर है ठीक है ना चालू करते हैं तो ओ पी टेन बार टी पी फोर बार ठीक है और उनके पास में क्या कहते हैं लिखना पड़ेगा इसको तो अपन हिसाब से लिख रहा हूं लेफ्ट मोस्ट ऑन द पोटेंशियल और दैट ट्यूबर प्रेशर दे लिख के 4 एंड 4 एंड दे लिख के 10 एंड 5 एंड दे लिख के 7 एंड 3 तो क्या हो रहा है ना जहां पर ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर ज्यादा है ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर का ज्यादा है ना तो फ्लो किसका होगा उल्टा डायरेक्शन होगा ऑलवेज फ्लो अपस फ्रॉम लो ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर टू हाई ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर बिकॉज़ ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर डिटरमाइंस The concentration of the salt is a little bit more than that. When we are talking about MBBS, we are talking about the physiology part. Then we understand the contribution of plasma proteins in, you know, blood vessels, blood, how it determines the osmolality. So osmolality pressure is always a ultra direction of flow to continue. Okay. And the tube pressure is always in front of flow to continue. Okay. So over there, what will happen? Here, since the os net net osmolality is six, here the net osmolality is zero. Now, by the net osmolality is five, and here by the net osmolality is four. What is going to happen? Har jagah se flow under hoga. So, from everywhere the flow will be occurring towards C. It will be from A, B, and it will be from uh, B, C, and D to A. Is there an option to like that? Yes, this one. So you just say yes, yes. I got the option. Question is not loading. Yes. Ha. Huh. A decrease, a decrease in intrapulmonary pressure. तो लेस देन एटमॉस्फेरिक प्रेशर कॉजेस इसका एक बहुत ही सिंपल सा लॉजिक है कि प्रेशर हमेशा 
जहाँ कम होगा और प्रेशर जहाँ पे ज्यादा होगा से कहा ठीक है इट्स ऑलवेज लाइक पीपल हु इज गोइंग टू हैव मोर मनी विल गिव मनी टू दस पर्सन सेविंग लेस मनी सिंपल लॉजिक ओके घट गया एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर बढ़ गया तो दिस विल बी लीडिंग टू वर्ड इंस्पिरेशन एक्सेप्ट नेक्स्ट देखते हैं व्हाट इज देयर ईआर एनोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ईआर क्या करता है इंटरसेलुलर स्पेस को 2.5 में डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करता है डिमिनर एक्सटर्नल में बिल्कुल सही बात है एससीआर इज द मेजर सिंथेसिस ऑफ लिपिड्स बिल्कुल सही बात है कंट्रोल सेंटर ऑफ सेल एकदम गलत न्यूक्लियस का कंट्रोल सेंटर ईआर क्यों होगा ये मॉडिफाइज केमिकल्स रेड ऑक्सीड टू द सेल आ ये सही है जीनोबायोटिक्स एंड ईआर विद राइबोसोम्स इज कॉल्ड आरए यहां पे कितना करेक्ट सेगमेंट है यहां पे ऑल आर करेक्ट सेगमेंट हीमोग्लोबिन को लेके इनकरेक्ट सेगमेंट बोला गया है तो क्या हो गया रेड कलर पिगमेंट है आयरन रहता है आरबीसी का अंदर रहता है एंड इररिवर्सिबल बाइंडिंग करता है नहीं रिवर्सिबल बाइंडिंग करता है इसको हम लोग बोलते हैं बोहर इफेक्ट ऑन हैंडल करती है हम लोग अभी नहीं पढ़ेंगे एमबीबीएस में जाकर पढ़ेंगे अभी नहीं ऑब्जर्व द गिवन पिक्चर विद गिवन बिलो कॉजिंग नेमाटोड कॉजिंग अ ग्रेट रिडक्शन इन लीड ऑफ टोबैको हां ये नेमाटोड ये कौन से वाले में करता है नेमाटोड यहां पे हम लोग नेमाटोड इसमें करता है मेलोडाइन इंटोगिटा में ये बिल्कुल एक थ्योरेटिकल क्वेश्चन है इसमें यू हैव टू रीड द बुक आई विल सजेस्ट दैट ओनली ओके This present in the this one chapter applications of biotechnology. It is actually a very simple question. Rather, questions could be, but I will make tougher than this. And this, in the present, my every single double question is coming in front of you. Okay. Next, wow, question on celebration. One of my favorite chapters. So yeah, see, after G two interface, G two interface के बाद कौन सा वाला phase होगा? Pro phase होगा? So ये हो गया पहला बार. D का हो गया one. मैट्रिक्स मैच किसी सेल्फ ने का तरीका दिखा रहा हूं डी का वाला वन मैंने निकाल दिया डी का वन लेट्स मार्क इट आउट अब है एनालिसिस का डिसजंक्शन डी का 3 तो बी का 3 देखिए दोनों में अब सी का 2 या 4 कौन सा होगा मेटाफेज में क्या होता है मेटाफेज में देयर इज अ यहां पर मेटाफेज में कौन सा हो जाएगा चेक पॉइंट इन द मिडिल ऑफ मेटाफेज यस सी का 2 दैट्स द थिंग सो थ्री द फेज फॉलो द सेटोगेनेसिस यू आर डन गो विद रैंडम ऑप्शंस ओके गो विद रैंडम ऑप्शंस You need not follow like कि मेरा को first नहीं solve हो रहा था ना second two two solve हो रहा है वाला first को solve करता नहीं two solve हो रहा है that is the key to the question sometimes examiner might say कि वो solve ना करता है let's keep that in mind okay amyloblast stored lipid amyloblast stored lipid बिल्कुल गलत है alloblast stored protein ठीक है pyrenoid stored proteins proteins and oils both alloblast stored petroleum में क्या है alloblast stored protein Yes, amyloblast will be produced. Amyloblast from the start by amylase. So amyloblast will be related to the evolution. We'll be able to get that. Ah, we're going to see that. Pericardium. Pericardium. What is it? Pericardium. 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 Cartilage. Pericardium. Cartilage. It will be out. And it is a single walled membranous band. Forcible peristaltic movements of short duration. It occurs in intestine, heart, fallopian tube, and uterus. This is what. Forcible pressure to move it in short duration. What again? Take a note. You have to be very very precise about the words that they use. It is a forcible pressure to move it. You are doing that, and that's a short duration. Okay. So it will be occurring in uterus. Why? Because it's for short duration. Heart may the movement occurs for long. It's it's going to be always. Intestine may it's occurring for a long duration, but in uterus it's only for short duration because it's like during menstrual cycle, right? That is it. Which of the following is correct regarding tricuspid valve? Tricuspid valve में तो muscular flap होता है, सही बात है। Right atrium में right ventricle के बीच में होता है, बिल्कुल सही बात है। Because left side में इसको mitral valve बोलते हैं, और tricuspid valve बोलते हैं, ना? And urinary direction है। Valve हमें क्या urinary urinary direction नहीं होता है। अगर एक valve, एक anatomical valve है, या फिर एक true valve है, तो वो हमेशा urinary direction नहीं होगा। तो इस मानसे ना all of them होगा। अगले सवाल की तरफ बढ़ते हैं। Migration of dash towards the two opposing poles is a characteristic feature of anaphase during mitosis. डबल क्रोमेटिक क्रोमोसोम्स नहीं गलत है ये डबल क्रोमेटिक क्रोमोसोम्स तो नॉर्मली होते हैं सिंगल क्रोमेटिक क्रोमोसोम्स हो जाएंगे जब हमें देखेगा प्लॉइड लेवल इज ड्रॉपिंग ड्यूरिंग एनाफेज बट इट विल रीगेन ड्यूरिंग टीलोफेज तब ठीक है ना बात हो तो बात क्लियर कर देता हूं ठीक है ना क्या होता है माइटोसिस में जब हमारे पास हमारे पास जब जब हम इंटरफेस में चलते हैं जेनेटिक मटेरियल डबल हुआ डबल हुआ तो उसको आधा-आधा होना है ना तो आधा-आधा कब होता है आधा-आधा होता है एनाफेज में 
That is why single chromatic chromosomes will go to the opposite poles during anaphase of mitosis. This same feature occurs during another phase, that is when we are in the uh, anaphase 2 of meiosis. And high content of carboxyl hemoglobin is associated with, they have been told about high, ox, high, high concentration of carboxyl hemoglobin. Now, carboxyl hemoglobin is a basically a feature of carbon monoxide poisoning. So it will be associated with smoking. All the structures that remain separate for which, by, with forming a layer are which the structures that remain separate with forming a layer. Aap sab pushaate hain. Layer ka matlab hai, log bolna chahte hain ki apne body mein jo itne patti na one by one by one wo aapko dil gaya, na? So which one should be remaining separate? Basically, it is generally the nervous cells because they form a network. They do not blend with the epithelium and all, but actually they blend. But if we are going according to NCRT or according to our theoretical senses, it's nervous cells. Statement are given below suits for possesses a protective hard shell or exoskeleton, small cells, ability to fly, and produces large number of options. If the last statement is not given, I can say that I can say But exoskeleton is not given, so we have insects. Which are the following adaptive habits which lead to danger of urinary bladder, throat, or lungs cancer? Tar, morphine, heroin, and tetanus. Generally, morphine does not go for uh, all these things. Morphine is more of cardiovascular disorders. Heroin can maybe do this, but heroin is kind of a stimulant also. We have to think about this. Huh? I'll go with heroin only because LSD does something else. LSD is a totally different thing. It is not associated with, with urinary bladder at all. KM. KM kya hota basically? Ye generally, we have an idea. This is the Michaelis Minton constant. This is the most important thing. We have to do this. जब हम कॉम्पिटिटिव और नॉन कॉम्पिटिटिव इनोवेशन बारे में बात करेंगे ना तो हमें ये देखना पड़ेगा कि उसमें एग्जैक्टली क्या हो रहा है ठीक है ना देखिए लेट मी राइट दिस डाउन वी हैव बीन सॉल्विंग मच ऑफ द थिंग्स वर्बली सो दिस इज बायोलॉजी दैट्स व्हाई आई एम राइटिंग नॉर्मली द एंजाइम सब्स्टिट्यूट ग्रुप गोस लाइक दिस ना व्हाट हैपेंस इन दिस सब्स्टिट्यूट कंसंट्रेशन ग्रुप दिस इज सब्स्टिट्यूट कंसंट्रेशन एट केएम दिस वी कॉल्ड सोल्यूशन एट केएम एस केएम and this is suppose the Vmax. This is suppose what? This is the Vmax. So when the velocity will be half of the maximum velocity, at that time, the substrate concentration that is present is called Km. There is Michaelis Minton constant. Okay. So Km can be kya Km hume ye bolte hai enzyme stability complex stability. Pata hi nahi. na padega isko likha karna. And Measure of the stability of the affinity of the enzyme for substrate. Ye baat sahi hai. Kyunki enzyme ka affinity kitna hai na ye KM determine karta hai. Because aadha velocity tum attain kar chuke ho. Abhi tak tumhara concentration kitna khatam hua hai. Wo agar kam hai. Is mein tumhara affinity aafi zada hai. Tabhi tumhara reaction kitna achcha ho pa raha hai. Par agar uska affinity ghat gaya. Is mein tab ye samaj lena hai. Ki KM to value bada jayega. Tab wo zada substrate pe taake wo same kam karega na. Hame kam substrate chahiye. Kam substrate pe zada kam chahiye. एंटीबॉडी ये जो स्ट्रक्चर है इसको हम बोलते हैं कि एपिटोप बोलते हैं व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज इंडेक्स अनदर क्वेश्चन वैस्कुलर बंडल ऑफ डाइकोस्ट स्टेम इज टू ओपन एंड डाइकोस्ट स्टेम एंडोडर्मिस इज रेफर्ड एज स्टार्च शीट इंट्राफैसिकुलर कैम्बियम इज प्राइमरी लैटरल मेरिस्टम इंट्राफैसिकुलर नहीं इंट्राफैसिकुलर होता है ना लैटरल मेरिस्टम एंड ऑल टिश्यूज लाइक इन सेल वैस्कुलर कैम्बियम आर कॉल्ड एज बार नहीं वैस्कुलर कैम्बियम के बाहर जितने नहीं करते उनके बाहर वैस्कुलर कैम्बियम के बाहर जो होंगे उनको बार बोलेंगे ठीक है ना उसके अंदर वाले को बार नहीं बोलेंगे एपिक्स बॉम्बिक्स क्यूलिक्स एंड लिमुलस ये क्या है ये इंसेक्टा के पार्ट से सारे के सारे नाम पढ़ के समझ में आ रहे हैं अब इंसेक्टा इज व्हाट इंसेक्टा इज द पार्ट ऑफ आर्थ्रोपोडा एंड इट बिलोंग्स टू द लार्जेस्ट फाइलम ऑफ एनिमल दैट इज दिस वन ओके सेल्स आर लिविंग एंड थिन वॉल एंड सेल्स आल्सो मेड अप ऑफ सेलुलोस स्टोरिंग फूड मटेरियल सो लिविंग And thin world, made up of cellulose, stored food material, radial connection of water, etc. So, xylem parent can be a consequence of long. It's a question, right? Features. We have to give an options also. Let's see. 
लिविंग सेल्स होते हैं सेल क्या है कि हाँ बिल्कुल होता है थिनवॉल भी होंगे सेल वॉल्स मिनरल सेल वॉल्स सही बात है फुल मटेरियल जो है ये भी सही है रेडियल कनेक्शन होता है सेल एंड क्या है ये जनरली हां सेलिंग कनेक्शन करेंगे बिकॉज़ दे आर लिविंग सेल्स ना इफ दे आर नॉट लिविंग सेल्स देन दे विल डू अ शिट ऑन द लीनियर कनेक्शन करेंगे वी आर सेइंग रेडियल बिकॉज़ ऑफ द फीचर दैट बिलोंग्स टू एलिमेंट एंड कैमरा ऑफ कैम बीइंग लिविंग अ लिविंग सेल कैन रेडिएट विद but if it's a dead cell what will happen they will have a thick deposit of suberin or lignin which will be preventing these types of transport right so do one and two let's go forward point nine lichens are symbiotic association angle and fungi respectively respectively they are they are, they are termed as algae ko bolte hai phycobiont and so bolte hai mycobiont now we clear here theoretical questions i the known accordance matter pucha ipcc international bank for climate change UNDP United Nations Environmental Policy EPA Environmental Policy Agency International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources isme the correct concern one matlab puchha ye to galat hai EPA ka I'm not sure UNDP ka I'm sure that is I'm not sure this and what is structural function response representing homology yahan par thorn bogen bhi aur cucurbit vitamin hame homology kis cheez ke dikhte hai homologous ka origin same hai function different hai but origin same hai that is the axillary but see Both the tendrils of cucurbit vitae and the thorn of bougainvillea, both of them are axillary buds. Okay, so axillary buds would be the answer. Coming to the next part, rivet proper hy rivet proper hypothesis. Here we we consider the rivets of wings as some critical species. But we have the keystone species. Actually, we call the keystone species. This is the word of NCERT. These two mean the same. You have to go by the words of NCERT. And first, let's go to this page. ठीक है ना हवा हवा पर नहीं आंसर ये है क्योंकि एनसीआर का वर्ड व्हाई आर व्हाई आर की सम स्पीशीज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ सम ऑफ द स्पीशीज आर देयर व्हिच आर लिंक्ड टू मेनी और दे बिलोंग टू मोनोमोट्रोफिक लेवल्स दे आर मोर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड स्ट्रेटजिकली मोर एसेंशियल इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो एनवायरमेंटल सेफ्टी और सिक्योरिटी इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन जो हुआ था इसके वजह से क्या हुआ था जनरली मोर अमाउंट ऑफ सूट वाज रिलीज्ड जिसकी वजह से क्या हुआ था पेड़ काले पड़ गए सो द ब्लैक मॉथ्स दे कुड हाइड देमसेल्स इजीली बट द व्हाइट मॉथ्स कुडंट So what was there? Uh, the black moths were completely more abundant in urban areas. Urban areas industry, so what? On that a common industry will happen. So white colored moths will be more in rural areas. But more happened. Black moths urban में ज़्यादा हुआ. White moths rural में ज़्यादा हुआ. Moths white moths को नहीं हुआ. नहीं ना. So no white tail was also wiped out. Hence all of that was done. So now over here currently more than इतना species are facing the threat of extinction. Out of the mammalian species, how many? यहाँ पे I don't remember the exact value. See, thirty-two percent was the value of amphibians and birds. These of amphibious forms. These two were thirty-one and thirty-two. Mammals have been twenty-three, I suppose, if I'm not wrong, because these are very, very soft data which you forget very easily. Which are the following: inactivated process catalysis and catalytic converters were done in automobiles. Catalysis the process go on in a bit, in a bit, can I know? Okay, can I? Ye pucha gaya. If you use leaded petrol, because lead acts as an inhibitor. Male external genital is penis. Is correct. Male accessory glands are seminal vesicular and prostate. Correct. Lubrication provided by bulbar vesicular gland. Is correct. And scrotum is inside testis. Oh my goodness. Testis is inside scrotum. Okay. This is easy. Organization created by foam is integrated water waste water management. Solid waste management. See these two are some bad options for this. So you have to go for the first two. Is it integrated waste water or is it solid waste management? If you think of it, it is a part of integrated waste water management, not solid waste management. Because foam, I don't remember the exact full form of this, but I remember that it is a part of integrated waste water management, which is basically used in South India. Okay, so they used to like you know uh, get fields together and they used to pass the water through it. So all the solid waste, all the other types of waste that are that are you know uh, suspended waste, they all could get clear. And also it used to help to increase the biodiversity. That is how it works. Uh, birth rate, death rate, emigration, immigration. Population is stable when both of them are equal. Like birth plus emigration is equal to death plus emigration. The birth plus immigration is equal to death plus emigration. Option two. A cuts it will be option two. For it option two, there is one and two are correct. Now B will be seen and will be known. When this is increasing, birth plus immigration should increase. More population should be coming inside than going out. So yes, option number one. So it's option number one, and hence you must option the correct labeling. Let's see which one is the option the correct labeling. Ah, uh, 
here it is uh oh this is what the capillaries the wings and the arteries right so let's see uh if you start marking the five number one will be the capillary obviously if that is not there don't mark an option fourth one should be valve as you can see in the labeling right so if the fourth one is a valve then uh yes it is the valve and fourth the third one is what it will be an epithelial tissue third one is an epithelial tissue no 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 third sorry 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 the third one will be a connective one the second one will be a smooth one and the first one will be a connective one because the tunica intima is made up endothelial layers tunica adventitia is made up of adventitium at the smooth muscle and last one is basically the tunica external that is that is made up of ventricle there is epithelial smooth connective valve and capillary the first the remaining options don't have the particular options as you can see this is the one with answers obviously I mean, the question of what thing? Testes are outside the abdominal cavity. Yes, male don't show certain number of mitotic divisions. Yes, interstitial process of containing latex cells secreting testosterone. This is also called testicular hormones called androgens. So, which one is correct? It's not the interstitial space of seminiferous tissue. It's the interstitial space of the testes, the lumen of testes. That's called latex cells. Male don't show undergo mitotic divisions as well as motor divisions. And testicular hormones are called androgens. Not actually testicular hormones. It's the hormones which androgens are the substance which stimulate the testicular hormones. So I think the first option is only correct. The testes are outside the abdominal cavity. The most prominent option. We are following not a rule of prediction because they access conduits of energy transfer along topic levels. That is the role of prediction. Keep the play population in control. That is also a role. Help in maintaining tissue diversity. That is also a role. Potent for an organic evolution. No, that's not a role. Human semen is liquid. There is a secretion called fibrinolysin by prostate gland that undergoes that leads to the coagulation and secondary liquefaction. ICSI. ICSI is basically uh, intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Yes, it's actually sperm injection. It's not semen injection. These are the things that you need to see when you read NCERT because this term is given. The full form is given, but when when you are in the examination, these two terms, semen and sperm, will be confusing. Yes. So the species that invade a bare area to start a process of succession is called the pioneer community. Chlorophyce are going to contain pigment A and C. Incorrect statement. Depending on plants directly for their food needs, all animals will depend on plants. Not necessary. That's how the organisms begin to retract their food chain. This is correct. Those animals depending on primary carnivores are dependent on tertiary consumers. Primary consumers are actually secondary consumers, and on them, tertiary consumers will be dependent. That is correct. Primary producers are various species like we are given names. They are all correct. This is incorrect, as I said earlier. So, artificial techniques using cryogenically preserved sperms. It is basically artificial insemination. Direct match based on types of attribution of protozoa and their examples. This will be a tough question. Uh, let's see. If you are coming to twisted, it will be China rose, zebra finger, and calotropis. Vexillary, uh, it will be PV in aloe and tulip because Fabaceae generally has vexillary estimation. We know this thing. And imbricate will be cassia and bimoa, as I'm sure. But valvate cassia is not actually correct. Next is which are the following responses taken up by some animals to avoid detection by predators. It's generally um, camouflage, which is the first thing that one can take up. Rather than all of them can be taken up. But camouflage is the most easiest technique. Genetic engineering is successfully used for producing which one? Transgenic mice. Yes, transgenic models of uh, cardiac disease. This is actually not correct according to NCRT. Transgenic cow rosy is also key kept. Bulls of farm work. I will suppose all. Actually, this has many options correct. But now we have to choose which one to be actually perfect. The transgenic cow rosy is producing high fat milk. It is basically not producing high fat milk. It is producing it is producing human milk. We have made rosy produce human human milk. Okay, and human milk gene is given inside it, nah. And uh, transgenic mice is the correct option. Now, uh, playing an active role in last mechanism, which part plays that? It's not E. It's not A. It's not B. It's D. It's D mostly. Firstly, it's D. Then it's something else. Because D say we'll get um. Erythropoietin, and we get um, enzymes like uh, no, no enzymes actually. It's like basically the substance will be released. The first substance is called angiotensinogen. 
that comes from liver and that is activated by uh, that is converted back to angiotensin 1 okay in kidneys so kidneys will be the first um, stimulator for last mechanism followed by a why because for aldosterone okay aldosterone is a is an, an is a hormone secreted by the adrenal medulla sorry adrenal cortex as the buffer sorry it is by the adrenal cortex along with the kidneys which will be which will be secreting what which will be secreting the enzymes required for the hormones required for last mechanism so d and l let's search yes false or basilary or papillomatous activation the two smallest anterior pedals are called skin or carina lateral pedals the wing your ally hai you know this thing correctly largest standard pedal is posterior okay and largest standard pedal is anterior and overlaps them see the last two statements are contradictory to each other so you have to choose any one i know that it is generally 2 plus 2 plus 1 bracket no can we write it like this 2 plus 2 plus 1 in bracket so it should not be correct the last one last one should be correct over here because it's actually wrong we have to find the wrong option right dash a volume of neural in our body is computed by neuro here so see this thing more than 50% there is a certain threshold of ncrt total number of plants having epipetalous stem here we need to know the examples of it if they are just epipetalous that means that we have to find out that which stems arise above the petals so if we go among the options now we have to be very very careful about which is option so here if i start counting it's, it will be generally uh, It ends up having uh, six is the correct answer. This is a strictly NCERT question. That is why I am not even going that deeply into it. Correct match with respect to American cockroach, Periplanetta americana. Here we have hyperstrict mobility. Spiracles are twelve pairs. This is correct. Malfigan tubes are twenty sixteen number. But another style is so no. This even I am not sure. I will set to leave this question because. Here, since I'm solving a paper, so I need to be very, very careful about which one pattern and which one to know. So, different types of roots will be present in which ones? There are those roots generally tap and fibrous. We still consider the option of adding which is this. Okay. So, bean and mustard, uh, wheat and jowar, maize and mustard, and grass and monster. Wheat and jowar will have same type. Maize and mustard will have different types. Bean and mustard will have same types. Maize and mustard will have different. Types. Which one of the following is correct pairing of the body part and the kind of muscle tissue that moves it? We are calling about calling the biceps. Also, no, biceps is the skeletal muscle fiber. Abdominal walls are also skeletal muscles. It is actually having skeletal plus smooth muscles, but it's mostly skeletal. Iris is an involuntary smooth muscle. Heart wall is an involuntary unstrained muscle. No, it is an involuntary muscle, but it is faintly strained muscle. Incorrect statement with respect to the prothallus of Peridophyta. It is gametophytic phase. Multicellular free living, no. The pteridophytes, the floor thallus that is over there, it is actually multicellular free living and well differentiated vascularity, no. It is not well differentiated. It is small and undifferentiated. Again, the third and the fourth option are incorrect. Out of which third option will be incorrect. How many are incorrect? Sternum is a part of axial skeleton. Um, is it so? Yes, it is. It is a part of axial skeleton because appendicular involves the girdles and the limbs. Five pairs are not true. That's correct. Like that, we can call as false limbs. Limbs are a part of appendicular skeleton. That's also correct. And pectoral girdle connects sternum to the humerus. No, this is not correct. Sternum is not all connected to humerus only. It is connected by the ribs to the vertebrae. B is incorrect. Rest all are correct. So one statement is incorrect. Now, which of the following pairs of plants will represent conifers? Will be cycas and ginkgo over here. Rest all involves some other options which will be involved from somewhere else, which I will be considering. The rate of decomposition is controlled by chemical composition required as climatic factor, both A and B, or the nature of the attributes. If you are considering this thing, then you can say that the rate of de de decomposition it is generally controlled by uh, chemical composition required as yes, it is so, and the climatic factors, both A and B. Gap between the membrane to neutron neutrons is called centric cleft. Rules of nomenclature. Which is not a rule for naming an organism. They have asked. So that is the biological name can be written in any language. That is not a rule. It can be written in Latin. That's all. Um, it's so. That's all. It's so. Uh, and then separately with an important word, which is in mind. Okay. Meaning complete oxidation of glucose. The oxidative decarboxylation will be occurring over where? 
see read this little couple this is this is very important you are completely oxidative because that means you are doing the electrolysis you are doing the pca cycle and you are also doing the eps you have been asked oxidative decarboxylation of the cell that means you will be decarboxylating the stuff which happens in pca cycle mainly and you are doing oxidation also along with it now this thing will occur inside pca cycle that is inside the lactic cemetery composition so answer is option number 7 you need to read the question and understand it properly about anaerobic respiration concept is incorrect net atp gain is two molecules okay it's correct less than 7% of the energy in the pool is released that's also correct alcohol concentration is over 7% becomes toxic please this is correct option d is correct option b is correct so that cannot be the option c animals are doing muscles doing exercise and oxygen is inadequate in their digestion this is interesting this thing ah this thing is also correct which is not correct this one the atp gain is two molecules this is actually not even 7% this is even less than 7% okay of the energy that is actually produced by glucose even not the 100% of energy is produced by glucose during anaerobic respiration how can it be happening during anaerobic now which are the following is a pair of fresh water variety of fish fresh water variety so rohu and katla and nakaran these three will be like so they have asked just for the pair right only is the rohu and katla the best pair don't even drag mackerel into it endocrine glands secreting melatonin is over here over where melatonin melatonin is something which is secreted uh, by the pineal gland okay so this which is located in cella dorsita and it is actually located in the uh, dorsal of the mid cell not the it is located in the dorsal side of the fold brain there is something there is something uh, like regarding anatomy okay this is not actually a neat question directly but yes like, like it's given so you have to like in character in, in relation to leg hemoglobin this is a very good question sometimes people uh, think that where this term is given so let me be clarifying this thing this is not a part of zoology this is about a botany and it is from chapter min nutrition okay so leg hemoglobin is an oxygen scavenger and it is a pink colored nodules and it oxidizes the enzyme nitrogenase yes and not synthesized by the host cell at all anf from the atria of heart correct also what is this from kidney correct glucocorticoids from zona glomerulosa okay estrogen from placenta now this is not correct placenta will not make placenta will make progesterone but not estrogen so the placenta makes estrogen and then the lining will shut down which happens during pregnancy which happens during parturition read the following question answer the question the following hydrocalcidone is a hypocalcemic hormone correct is the muscle the hydrolysis of thin flavoplatin to this is also correct Coalition on the defect molecules mediated by LH. Yes, it's correct. LH surge occurs. Then this whole thing, FSH and TSH is the same. FSH and TSH the hormones are secretion plus what? Same as, absolutely same as. Hormones are non-intent chemicals. It is also correct. So how many intent? None are intent. Now light reaction may direct sequence of flow of electrons. PS two to PS one jai. The first thing. So option one and option two and three eliminated. Now PS two to pehle jaega kahan pe? Plasto gunan jaega. Photon synthesis. Light independent reaction takes place in which portion? Light independent reaction or dark reaction? Acha. Let me talk about this thing. This is thing which many students confuse generally that light independent reaction means that they don't use light. Light is not needed. Light can independent reaction means that they don't use light directly for their purposes. Okay. However, they need light. They need the temperature that is caused by the light for the enzyme to optimally act. Okay. This is most important. Next. cut flowers and vegetables are kept fresh for a long period by using which hormones if you have to cut preserve the cut flowers and vegetables you will use which hormone to preserve them there is something even which i have to do but yeah i can please use my common sense to answer this one that it might be highly needed because it generally because it, it generally preserves or matlab senescence delays of delaying of senescence is done by cycle na so yes it can be doing that cells of the maturation phase is show up If a cell is maturing, cell walls will thicken. There will be protoplasmic modification to both of them. Which fungi are commonly used in biochemical and genetic work? Cladiceps and Saccharomyces. They have been asking about biochemical and genetic work. So you have to talk about Neurospora. This is used. You know this thing. Again, Penicillium is also used. Rhizopus is also used. So you have to think very much that which one are more commonly used. 
Clavisex is something which is normally used. This is like uh, on household use. So it's better not to consider that also. And uh, aspergillus we can use. That's correct. So over here, I'll go with aspergillus and alternative. Now diatoms and gold, golden algae. This is something which is very simple. It'll be, um, sorry, it'll be chrysophytes. I will say chrysophytes. So what are the four uh, categories? Generally, there's chrysophytes, there's dinoflagellates, there's euglenoids, there's slime molds, and there are protozoans. These are the five categories in which protista is divided. Out of which classifies belong, belong to protista, and it is further subdivided into diatoms and golden algae. Talking about the next question. Why does this coloring cube also have? Because wo post cell ke under active reproduce system. Has reproduce nahi karta. Methanogens are the bacteria hai. Marshy areas, okay. Methane provide carbon source. Persist in the guts. And provide biogas. Methane is the preferred carbon source. No. Methane is not the preferred carbon source. Methane is something which they produce. Methane is not their source. Methane is the product. Replication in E. coli DNA starts from which region? Starts from ORC. OR. That is origin of the lactose is called and substitute for enzyme beta carcosidase and metabolism. Lactose kya karta hai? is substitute for this enzyme beta carcosidase. Switching on and off. So, lactose is called lactose. Lactose is called repressor. Repressor is called operon. So, this is not the same. This is the repressor. So I have lactose is an inducer, which induces the switching on and off. Enzyme that catalyzes peptide bond formation is located in peptide bond formation for catalyzed canavala enzyme is located in which portion? It is generally located in large cell enzyme. 23 RRN. 23 RRN. There is a vital link that ensures enzyme is produced. Zygote. Enzyme links. Next, cochlea. Retina and forebrain. There was. What other things? So if we are talking about this thing, so here we will be coming with bipolar cells that are present in retina. The first thing. Then there is a tectorial membrane present cochlea. So let us start things properly. If we are coming with corpus callosum and white matter, white matter is mainly in forebrain. Uh, yes. So let's be careful about while choosing options. Okay. So C will be going with C and D both. Yes. But Bucky two options are totally eliminated. First and third is totally eliminated. Talking about uh, which one will go with e. so the second option, it will be bipolar cells. It will be a innermost wall layer of microsporangia providing nutrition to the developing pollen grain is called tapetum. Following conditions will be autogamous situated, but no genetic genotype. In which one? See, what is diocious condition or monocious condition? Let me speak. Monocious condition is when you see. Only one gender on one plant, either a male plant or a female plant. Like that, male, male plant will have male flowers, female plant will have female flowers. In that condition, what will happen? The chitonogamy is not prevented, only autogamy is prevented, right? But what is happening in, in dioecious plants? Chitonogamy is not prevented, only autogamy is prevented. So that should be Next is, which is incorrect. Double fertilization is a characteristic of angiosperm. This is correct. The score by Norshin. This even I don't know. Pollen tubes for apical growth and chemotropic This is correct. Wind pollution poll poll pollination is common in legumes. It is more common in legumes and grasses, as far as I know. So, yes, maybe this option is incorrect. I don't know. Tissue that commonly performs the function of being supporting chemical epithelium. It is generally the dense irregular connection. It is a support supporter. Or more importantly, it's aerial tissue because that is a more Common and more abundant form of tissue compared to the dense kind of tissues. Loss of water in the form of liquid droplets on the opening of wings and the tip of grass which is called gutation. GD64, dead linear. Okay, so we have entered chemistry, right? Let us check once if you entered chemistry or not. Yes, you have entered chemistry. What happened? Um, so, yes, dead uh, linear. Dead linear is dash unpaired electrons, which is from a spin of water. Now we will be solving questions properly because now it's chemistry and now we need to solve questions. Okay. When it's biology, I will advise everyone that don't use pen until and unless it's utmost necessary. Okay. Because you might never know how much time is going to Okay. 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 Okay.
बट बाद में क्वेश्चन काफ हो भी सकता है सो यू टू कीप टाइम इन योर हैंड एंड नॉट ओनली रिलाई ऑन द फेट ऑफ द पेपर दैट यू आर हैविंग ओके दैट इज व्हाट आई वांट टू वांट टू रिलेट टू एवरीबॉडी ओके सो लेट अस सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस आगे देखते हैं क्या है सो so, यहां पे क्या दिख रहा है हमें गैडोलिनियम 64 दिया हुआ है इसमें अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन कितने हैं समझ सकते हैं अगर हम देखेंगे तो हमारा जो लैंथनॉट सीरीज चालू होता है ना वो 57 से चालू होता है उससे अगर हम सात आगे बढ़ेंगे तो हमें दिख जाएगा 64 आता है इसमें तो क्या हो रहा है सात अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैन बी देयर इन द डी ऑर्बिटल बिकॉज़ द डी ऑर्बिटल है इसमें आई कैन पुट सेवन अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इजीली बाय मेकिंग दिस अ अ फोर डी सेवन इजीली व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इट इज गोइंग टू हैव सेवन अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विद द सम ऑफ स्पिन एज सेवन बाय टू दैट इज इक्वल्स टू सी बाय थ्री थ्री पॉइंट थ्री नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्या बोलता है देखना है जरा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन में बोलता है दैट वी हैव टू पॉइंट फोर ग्राम ऑफ फ्यूल मैग्नीशियम ड्रॉप्ड इन हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ वन मोलर एक्स हमें ये पूछा गया कि कौन सा स्टेटमेंट इसमें से गलत है ठीक है ना पढ़ते हुए हम लोग ये ध्यान रखते हैं यहाँ पे 2.4 पॉइंट फोर ग्राम ऑफ प्योर मैग्नीशियम को मैंने ड्रॉप किया इन वन मोलर एक्स तो देखते हैं क्या हो रहा है अब हम लोग देखते हैं जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव मोल अगर हाइड्रोजन अगर प्रोड्यूस हुआ है तो क्या है हमें क्या करना पड़ेगा ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर डिवाइडेड बाई जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इट इज वन बाई ट्वेंटी टाइम्स राइट सो इफ आई डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी हाउ मच विल आई गेट आई विल गेट वन पॉइंट वन टू लीटर दैट इज वट इज गोन ओवर एयर एट द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन विच इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट जीरो फाइव मोल ऑफ मैग्नीशियम इज लेफ्ट इट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट it still is limiting reagent i talked about this in the this is the limiting reagent moshus but this is left field isn't right questions solve karte waqt bahut hi thanda dimag se solve karna questions solve ho jayenge aisa nahi hota solve nahi hota aur hota hai agla question abhi ka question based question hai in questions ko time bachana padta hai element having ramming mass and bcc structure cell edge length de diya hai aapko wala density nikal do is question ko ek kaam karte hai abhi nahi karenge is question ko hum baad mein aake karte hain मॉलिक्यूल होता है उसके ऊपर का आयरन मॉलिक्यूल है नीचे का आयरन मॉलिक्यूल होता है एंड इट इज बेसिकली स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दिस यू टू रिमेंबर दिस स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर ओके जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस दिस इज कॉल्ड अ लीनियर स्ट्रक्चर नॉट अ लीनियर शेप दिस इज अ लीनियर स्ट्रक्चर ओके मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इज स्पीकिंग दिस इज अ लीनियर स्ट्रक्चर नॉट अ लीनियर शेप हाउ मेनी लोन पेयर्स कैन यू सी इन थ्री लोन पेयर्स दैट्स इट डोंट इंडल्ज मच इनटू द थिंग जस्ट कीप योर हेड कूल एंड कंसिस्टेंट For the redox reaction, the value x, y, m, n, n are what? That is answer this one. For this, we won't be solving the question obviously. We will be basically using our own brains to answer. Much of our brains. See, consider the m, n. Generally, क्या होगा ना? अगर आपको manganese के लिए देखना पड़ेगा ना, आपको charge balance करना पड़ेगा मतलब समझ में ठीक है ना? तो इसमें थोड़ा सा चालाक ही लगाते हैं. सोचना पड़ेगा. देखते हैं. इसको तो लिख के solve करेंगे. आदि. Um. Don't pull that. Let's start. Um, 
doing it. X times of M N O four minus plus Y of H two C two O four plus Z times of H plus giving us M times of M N plus two plus two and N times of C O two. Now what some things that we don't even need. Starting off this question, we'll be using this X Y Z M and N. Before we start, we know that this is basically on a plus seven charge, right? And over here, this entire compound is having a minus two charge. Inside which, if we see these atoms, we'll be getting that every carbon is on plus four charge. This carbon is also on a plus four charge. Okay. And then there is this H plus on a plus one charge. Then there is this M N magnesium on a charge of plus two, as you can see. So it's basically what is happening here. Uh, you can see that. Manganese is losing its charge from seven to two, right? So what is happening? The manganese is losing its charge from seven, and by gaining of five electrons, it's losing its charge to manganese plus two, and that is only the only thing. This question has some data missing, I suppose. We'll come back to this question. Let us do the questions of inorganic chemistry. The other ones. The number of possible optical isomers to the complex is M A two B two with S P three and B S P two hybridized with platinum three. Okay. If it is meant BSP two, so we are going to approach it in a different way. But if it is not, then what we will do? It is A two B two, right? Symmetry will be. But symmetry will be. So the optical isomer will not be there. In the three case, we won't get any optical isomer. You won't get. You won't get. Let it be simple. Let's see. You won't get. In case of BSP two, you might think uh, of square planar. In that case, um, still you won't get because it's something. सिमेट्रिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स हैं इसमें अगर हम लोग बनाएंगे ना तो हम लिखेंगे कि M इट्स इधर A A B B और इट्स इधर M A B A B इन एनी केस ना यू कैन यू कैन यू कैन यू कैन ओपन अ सिमेट्री सो नो ऑप्टिकल एसेंसिंग वुड बी देयर और इवन इफ यू थिंक इन द केस ऑफ S P थ्री स्टिल यू कैन हैव अ प्लेनर डिवीजन सो नो ऑप्टिकल एसेंसिंग � See, here we know that means what is happening. Half into the DT of sorry, यहाँ पर if we find the DT of O two is the most half into the DT of SO three. You need to find out this thing, right? This thing is what you need to find out. So the DT of SO three is equal to two times of the DT of O two. That's equal to two into the DT of O two is how much? Two hundred into minus four. Next, we have given another question to us. That is, zinc can be coated on iron to produce galvanized iron, but the reverse is not possible because zinc has what? You are doing. You are you are coating zinc plus two to Z N. You can over iron. Why? Because zinc can a reducing potential is higher. That means what is that? Zinc has higher positive electrical potential. And lower negative electric potential than iron. Three hundred degrees centigrade. What is it? The vapor pressure of C S two is five hundred twelve mm hg, and the acetone is three forty four mm hg. Have given us these students. Eight solution of C S two and acetone are the total vapor pressure. Which one? False statement among the following is what? The first. Okay. They have basically given us this thing. That I have partial pressure of C S two. The one I have taken. CS2 जब मैं P0 निकाल रहा हूँ, वो आ रहे मेरे पास 500 बार है मैं मिल ची, और जब मैं P0 निकाल रहा हूँ, इसका, और जब मैं P0 निकाल रहा हूँ of acetone, तो वो कितना आ रहा है, वो आ रहा है 344 mm hg, so, और जब मैं P mixture निकाल रहा हूँ, तो वो कितना आ रहा है 600 आ रहा है, which is less than what I have gotten P0 of acetone plus P0 of CS2, इसमें तो क्या हुआ? जहाँ पर ये सॉल्यूशन क्या किया मेरे को एक नेगेटिव डेविएशन दे दिया ना तो ये क्या हो गया नेगेटिव डेविएशन का केस हो गया ये हो गया कि नेगेटिव डेविएशन का केस हो गया तो क्या होगा वी मिक्स भी मेरा कम होगा यही होना चाहिए राइट तो क्या होगा इसका तो वॉल्यूम होगा वॉल्यूम भी दूसरे से कम होगा कोई तो गलत है डाउट्स नॉट नॉट ओवर नॉट नॉट ओवर डाउट्स लाइस नॉट ओवर ये यहां पे हाई भी सही है ये भी सही और मेरे को इंटरड बोला है ना सॉरी 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 इंटरड बोला है सॉरी लेट अस सॉल्व देन प्रॉपर्ली हीट मस्ट बी अब्जॉर्ब ये बात भी सही है सीएस टू एंड एसिडों ना लेस अट्रैक्टेड टीचर द दंदम दंदम सब्स हम्म ये बात सही है ये बात गलत है ठीक है ना 
ये बात गलत है बाकी सारों को ठीक है आगे देखते हैं यहाँ पे बोला कौन सा कॉम्पाउंड इनमें से कायरल नहीं इनमें से कौन सा कंपाउंड कायरल नहीं है कायरल नहीं है निकालने के लिए एक काम करेंगे कि सिमेट्री नहीं है ढूंढने के कंपाउंड में ठीक है ना बस बस और कुछ नहीं करना है सिंपल काम करना है हमको उंड टू है 
but how will you do the reaction reduction and how will you oxidize the compound further on okay this is what you have to think this is a pure thinking question okay there is not something that very you need to apply your brain very hard but again you cannot sit idle and think okay so what is happening over here when first of all uh, this compound is going to be going to get reduced so let us just try solving this question in a place where we are going to get some gap just like this so mere paas as a structure diya hua hai isme jaldi se hum pehle mera r2 base se react karunga na what is going to happen ki pehle to ye bonds pehle toot na chale jayenge ho gaya ab jab h2 aayega na h2 kya karega na h2 na iske andar na oxygen donate karna chalu karega dheere dheere to yahan pe kya ho gaya ab ek yahan pe oxygen ko attack karega kahan pe attack karega oxygen ko dekhte hain ek ek chote ke sara baat karenge ruk jana bas theek hai na oxygen aake wo attack karega andar oxygen attack karega andar वो इस बॉन्ड को दे शिफ्ट करेगा एंड खुद डबल बॉन्ड ले लेगा अदर व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड समथिंग लाइक दिस लेट्स मैच द ऑप्शंस इज अ 1 2 3 4 कार्बन कंपाउंड ओ हो हो सॉरी आई थिंक आई मिसजज द नंबर ऑफ कार्बन्स सॉरी आई फॉरगॉट टू ऐड द कार्बन्स इन आर टू बी एच लेट मी ऐड एंड देन वी सॉल्व इट फॉर द इट इज बेसिकली अ कंपाउंड लाइक दिस एंड We are going to add H two to it. We are going to get something like this. Okay, now just match the compounds. Sorry, this will be on this side. Yeah, yeah. anyone? No, this will be on this side. So, if I am going to match the compounds, so it will be one to three and fourth carbon to be there. One to fourth carbon to be there. This is the correct answer. The reaction of H two O two with two S is an example of what reaction? If we are getting H two two with H two S. It might be a redox reaction because sulfur, अपने actual state में तो है नहीं, neither is oxygen. So oxygen might get uh, redox reduced while sulfur might get oxidized. Thus H two S might might want to reduce to H two. See, H two S might want want to reduce this sulfur to S from minus two to zero, and H two O two might might want oxygen to either release to O two minus or to oxygen which having a zero state. So this can be an example of redox reaction. False for the periodic classification of elements. Here, what is the thing? Properties of the elements, the periodic functions with the atomic numbers. This is correct. Non-metallic elements are lesser in number than the metallic elements. First, ionization energy of the elements along a period not vary in regular magnetic resonance. Never at all. For transition elements, the electrons are filled monotonically with increase in atomic number. Not like that. It is having very various transitions along their way. Again, bio question. I don't know where this question came, but okay, let's solve this question. This will be like a chill pill in front of the question. So, basal part of the ovule lying opposite to the micropylus, which portion? It's generally chalaza. It's opposite to the micropylus. Now, there is again a metal metal question. Anode mud can form. करता है जब हम copper का refining करेंगे. So, copper का refining कर रहे हैं तो कौन से कौन से बड़े anode mud form करते हैं? तो इनका potential से कम होगा ना? Silver, gold, all these things can form. Does the solution of sulfuric acid used in the electrolyte and lighter cumulative? This I will not remember, but bluntly I remember that is one point two. Bluntly I remember. I might I might be incorrect in this also. I might I'm I'm not sure. Correct statement with respect to MnCN six three three minus. What is the thing? Let us see. Let us solve this question. Okay. It is what? Okay. Now CN has a charge. What is going to happen? Mn is actually in plus three state over here. What is the matter when number when it is twenty four? Right. I think what is going to be the situation? It's going to be what? It is going to be four s one and three five. If I'm not wrong, magnetic is going to be uh, present in this form. Four s one and three five. It is what? Sorry, magnetic is going to be number twenty five. I'm incorrect in this case. It will be four s one and three five, right? So what is happening? It is have it is having a full orbital of this type and one orbital of this type, right? So. Now we have basically how many things over here? We have five CN atom, say so six CN atoms over here. Six, six, six CN is there, right? So what is going to happen is, uh, if we have to uh, put this in our order, now, so what is going to happen? It is going to occupy this D orbital first, all the Ds at first, and then move forward. So it will be generally. Uh, what is happening? I think this question has some incorrect data in it because it is saying that there are six ligands and 
they are trying to put the SP3D2 panel. It should be something more. This question has some, some data missing, I suppose, because the number of ligands are not matching out with the number of like the options which are given. We'll come back to these types of questions later on. Because some questions are tricky also. Okay. Then so what is the identify the monocyclic containing only one asymmetric carbon atom in its molecule? It is glycerol DH, very clearly understandable because there only you can see whether there is a COH H on top it will be CH2O on top there will be sorry on top there will be a CHO and on down there will be CH2OH so this carbon is asymmetrical that is what is happening there is a glycerol DH okay coming to the next question we get to see uh, uh, that is which is one is four toro one methyl cyclohexene. If you are going to talk about this thing, uh, four chloro one methyl cyclohexene, right? First, draw the cyclohexane molecule, then label this as one, two, three, four, five, and six. One methyl cyclohexene, hexene, let's make in at one position. Let's make a methyl group at one position. Let's make a chloro group at one position. And since this is a thin molecule, all of, all of the things should be in the same direction. Okay. S floor four chloro. One methyl cyclohexene. It will be this molecule, this molecule. Either of uh, one A or B, it will be. But since we're talking about the same compound, it will be option number one. When equal volume of the following solutions are mixed, which of the following gives maximum precipitate? You have been given the KSP of the ADCL. This is the maximum uh, volume which can be kept suspended. If things go beyond this, we cannot handle it. will get precipitated. Anyhow. So which is the correct answer? Let's see. Find out. First one will give us 10 to the power minus 8 ADCL SKSP and a KIP ionic product we are going to find out. Okay. Next one gives us 10 to the power minus 6 ADCL. Next one will be 10 to the minus 10 ADCL and next one will be 10 to the minus 12 ADCL. So maximum precipitate will be given by this one. Let's move forward. Correct order of increasing bond angles. We have to find out. Right. ClO2 minus Cl2O and ClO2. For these types of questions, we can uh, apply this technique that is uh, over here with us. ClO2 minus. Okay. So what is happening? There is basically a chlorine atom with eight electrons, out of which oxygen will form two, two double bonds. Okay. And the things will go like this. See. Then there will be ClO2 minus. What happens is there will be eight electrons in total, out of which two times oxygen will form double bonds, four electrons will be consumed. And for the will left to be two bond pairs. That means what is happening? There is two bond pairs and there is two lone pairs. So what type of a structure is this? It's something like there is Cl double bond O, double bond O, and there are two lone pairs. But when we are talking about what ClO2, only ClO2, what is happening? There will be this thing. Sorry, ClO2 is there, and then there is Cl2O. ClO2 is also there. Let us solve one by one. And since there are seven electrons, four electrons will be consumed by O2. That is bond pair two and three electrons will be left, which will be forming uh, two. So we will be forming one lone pair and one normal electron. So if you let a range this thing, this will again be uh, this time, 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 and four electrons are still left, it will form two lone pairs. Because the oxygen forming these two chlorides and now so compare these three structures. Bring these three structures down and compare these three. What is happening? ClO2 is having maximum angle. Make this at the front. Next, oxygen bonding to Cl and Cl bonding to oxygen. Which one will be more uh, simplistic to understand? It will be more like Cl bonding to oxygen because they are double bonds. It will be repelling more. Giving more angles. So ClO2 will be giving more angles. ClO2 minus. Here's the correct option. ClO2 will have this shortest angle. This is something we need to apply your brain. The maximum prescribed concentration of calcium in drinking water and PPM is it's only 2%. Reactant P in the following reaction is what? See, since this is again something which is very, very uh, confusing, you can say. The like it generally confuses people. So that is why I'm saying, okay. So solving these types of questions will require. Great. 
मतलब लिटरली ग्रेट प्रिंस यानी शुड बी वेरी वेरी इक्वल टू अबाउट हाउ यू आर सॉल्विंग दिस सो सी इफ यू आर गोइंग टू टेक दिस कंफर्म ओके देयर इज दिस दिस इज नॉट रिएजेंस सो दिस विल बी एंड एंड स्पेशली देयर इज ऑन देयर इन सीस देयर इज सीस सी एम जी बी आर ओके सो व्हाट विल हैपन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी लीड्स टू सी दिस टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर and when this will be acted upon the keto cr207 this will be some type of ketone this is following the same structure okay a great reducing agent will do all this or uh, what i can say is uh, uh, let's change the structure to this one because this is what seems to be a better structure than what i think now there is a ketone formed how can that ketone be over here at max this thing right That is what the first option says. The maximum number of ninety degree angles between bond pair, bond pair of electrons is observed in which one? It is uh, no doubt it is sp three two hybridization observing many 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 ninety degree angles. Okay. No, sir. This question is a very simple question. Okay, because this involves a very simple calculation. You have been given the Planck's constant. You have been given the wavelength. You have been given the circular radius. So you have to just calculate the energy in joules. It is. We have just uh, put the things H C by lambda and that is it. Again, there is a shortcut to get it over here. And there is electron volts, but since it is not about electron volts, it's a simple calculation. So I'm, I'm gonna pick up my. I'm gonna take the opinion of uh, picking up my pen and solving. Wait a minute. Hmm. Something like this. Yes, option number four at least. So this is how questions should be tackled if questions come like this. Okay. These are basically some sample questions which are basically there. But these are these questions will teach you a lot in the long run. One gram magnesium burned in presence of this much of O two in a closed vessel, which reactant is left in excess and how much? If there is one gram of Mg and there is O two of point two eight gram, coming out MgO, which is of two times, doesn't even matter to us. So one by uh, basically mostly one by twenty four, and this will be point twenty eight by thirty two. Which one will stay more? What do you think? So if you compare, which one is more and which one is less? Let's cross multiply and see. Thirty-two, and so twenty-eight by one hundred and twenty-four. Obviously, this is going to be more. So which one will be staying more? This one will be limiting reagent, magnesium. But how much magnesium will stay more? Stay, stay back. That is the factor. Since one gram is there, five point eight gram can't be left. Zero point five eight gram will only be left. Which of the following the tricarboxylic acid? Citric acid, malonic acid, succinic acid, malic acid. Which one is it? Malonic, succinic, and malic. All of them are four carbon acids. So it will be citric. Metal carbides in reaction with H two O forms C H four. So which can be the carbide? Actually, it is generally C A C two and B two C. I don't think all can form. It is generally C A C two which forms C H four. Sorry, guys. All don't form. I I will just go through this one. There is something which you have to apply your brain. See, calcium and beryllium are very less atom in compared to magnesium. Okay, magnesium is like uh, it's a bit more forward and a bit more upward in the product. Like these are some things from which come with experience. Okay, if you are a newbie to solving these questions, it will be tough. Also, this is a theoretical point, but again, we can apply our brains to solve these questions. Okay, so it's generally C S E two or B E two C. Was Mg three C two is forming something else as far as I know. But since again I get two options selected over here, I'm going to go with all of these. In all of these, it might happen in many cases that both the options, all the options I give, don't seem correct to you. Both two options seem correct to you. Then you have to apply your brain that what is going to happen exactly. Okay, this is how the thing will work. Now the increasing order of atomic radii of the group thirteen elements will be what? It will be. Aluminium, not at the beginning. Aluminium will be at a bit higher position. Gallium will be the lowest. Okay, so this order is order correct. Which carbocation is most stable? This is what is this is the uh, first one is the primary carbocation, second one is second one is the tertiary carbocation. So the first one is the secondary carbocation, then it is the tertiary carbocation, then it is the primary carbocation, then it is the secondary carbocation. So most stable one is what? Most stable one is present inside the option number two. Okay. Then we are going to do combustion of ethanol with the ethanol at 300 Kelvin. We have been given everything. Okay, I have to just find out. 
and combustion what finding out is the most easiest thing that i that i might say because here you need to do nothing actually so it's something like uh, since it's this combustion so i might say you find out nrt is actually goes to pv and that's it this goes to the work done okay now it's combustion you have burnt out that means what is happening heat is given out and if heat is given out then what is happening to the work work is in negative right heat given out is work heat given out is work done by the system right Had to be negative work. Let's do the work first. Point one three eight by forty six into eight point three one four into three hundred. So what is going to happen is we uh, this thing will be three by thousand into three hundred into eight point three one four. So if we want to cancel these things, we are going to land up in some higher value over there. Okay, it is going to give us in some some values in seven thousand and four hundred. Okay, the values will be over here minus seven forty two. Okay, next coming down to another question. The discolored impurity is removed how? It is removed by uh, steam distillation, fraction distillation, distillation. See, if there is a mixture of orthol and propanol and para and propanol, it is reduced by steam distillation. Second cup P. That is fixed. Now coming to there is a mixture of glycerol and sugars that will remove the charcoal treatment. Four ka R, sorry four, sorry 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 sorry. I'm sorry. Um, mixture of sorry crude naphtha can be removed remove, can be reduced with charcoal treatment, but not that one. It will be clear about what we are saying. We have said second cup piece comes from. We are not sure about the other three, so let's fix that first. Um. There is the mixture of glycerol and sugars. This can be reduced by or filtered by um, fractional distillation simply because glycerol and sugars have different consistency in different boiling points, as far as we know. So it will be easier by for removing them under fractional distillation. So P, if there is for second and there is fourth, uh, it will be Q. So first and second. That's correct. Next is there is a compound C for which they know. Actually, forming a phenyl hydrazone and also gives negative tolerance test and a positive iodine form reaction. It gives n-pentane on reduction. The compound is what? See, positive iodine form is given only by when there is a methyl group at the end of one of the sides of the ketone. So it's very well two pentanol and nothing else. And when it gives negative tolerance, this means the compound is a ketone. Forming a phenyl hydrazone, this means the ketone is there. And n-pentane reduction, obviously, two pentanol will be there. Next is when H two gas is passed into aqueous N two CO three, all the products are formed. Basically, it is uh, you are passing through N two N H two gas through N two CO three. So obviously, you will get uh, Na two Na H SO three. You will also get you will get also Na H SO three is the most common and common that you get. Next is what there is a Grignard reagent which is being halogenated halogenated at first and then it is hydrogenated, and hence we lead up to forming. Three phenyl groups and OH. Sorry, 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 sorry. I misread the X as halogen. It's not halogen. It's an undefined reagent that is given to us, along with H plus, acidified. Why acidified? Because it will be forming uh, an alcohol over there. So what can be a X over here? X can be generally C. When you are having a Grignard reagent with Una, and what you are doing is uh, with the Grignard reagent, you are uh, Adding something like this, you get something like you use the Grignard reagent to get get through this much only. Only this much only the Grignard reagent. This means what is happening? Or oh, this much is contained by the X. This is actually X. Okay. So what is going to be X over here? Check the options, and that's it. Which of the following is an example of thermal setting polymers? It's a very easy answer. That is big light. Following equilibrium constants are given. We have to find out the equilibrium constant of the oxidation of which one? We have to find out the oxidation of uh for this one. What will be the equilibrium constant? See, we have N two plus three. We have this thing, na? That N two plus three H two can give us two NH three. The equilibrium constant of K one. Then from this reaction, we can also tell that two NH three giving us three H two plus N two. Iska 
is long constant is equal to one by k one, right? Now there is what there is n two plus o two giving us two n o. Is k if the equilibrium constant is k two, then we know what we know. Uh, k two. Let's keep this reaction. And this other reaction called H two plus half O two, giving us. And there is this reaction. So this is some reaction which is actually important to understand. That when you are taking N H two on this side, you are getting basically you are taking why am I taking N H two on this side? This side. There's a big reason that N H two is on this side actually. N O why am I letting it on this side? Because it is on the same side as it is in the is it is in the final solution that I want, right? But H two is something which is actually uh, creating the Problem over here, which can actually be solved easily. Like is nothing like that. Uh, that can be solved. It can be solved easily. Don't worry. We just need to be a bit more um understanding for the question. That's it. See what is happening. Uh, if we are going to add these two equations, two equations, na. Okay, let me add. Let me do one thing. Uh, let me uh add these two. What is going to happen? N two and N two will get cut. Okay. And the reward there will be two NH three plus O two, giving you three H two plus two N. Yes. Um. Extremely sorry for the delay. Basically, uh, we are solving the question and suddenly we just got locked out. So coming back to where we were, we are basically solving all this question. The what will the equilibrium constant when you are observing two mole NH three plus NO? Okay. So in this case, uh, it will be uh, equivalent to first of all, uh, k one will be in the denominator, k two will be in the numerator. The first thing, now k two won't be squared or rooted or something. K two will be where it is. K three can be exponentially increased or something, as far as my uh, senses are telling me. So doing something to k k three, we can get the solution. Also, the option uh, b and c are quite similar. Others, I will select option c over here. So solving this question, uh, where will we be basically? Uh, we will have to see over here. Next to the PVI terms, but T one, T two, T three, which one the following is correct, right? So seeing that, uh, very particularly over here, it will be mainly uh, drawing a simple line, making all the volumes same. Okay. So what is happening? Pressure is different, right? This was T one. This was P. Sorry. This gap was for T three. This was T two. This was T one, right? This is P3, this is P2, this is P1. Now, as you can see, P3 is greater than P2 is greater than P1. Implying this portion to P, so hence P3 is also like this. Option number one is correct. Next is barbiturates. Barbiturates are what? Barbiturates is generally hypnotic. Okay. Product on benzaldehyde is treated with NaOD in D2O. What you will get? Um, it is basically they have asked us the uh, if we take a benzaldehyde and we treat it with NaOD in D2O. It is nothing but um, simply uh, we are going to get uh, one alcohol and one carboxylic acid. A Kanizero reaction is going to happen, and the Kanizero reaction basically yields us uh, what all things in butadium. It will be one like uh, there will be one OD, and the one compound like uh, we get COOD, something like this. Okay, so one will be a salt and one will be a particular alcohol. So this will be leading to us forming. Since there is already one attached, so it will be C H O D, like this. Okay, so let us let us let us just find out the particular um, compound out of all the options over here. Since C H C H C H is common and all, so load this will be basically C H D O D, like the compound is like this, na. C N on one H is there, so there will be what D N one O D. It will be some compound. And another case will be there. That basically C is there, so there will be there will be one more one double O due to the oxygen of the D two O, and there will be one more O and N. Next is there. There is the sucrose a non reducing property. It is basically because of their linkage in C one and C four centers and not nothing else. So they mark the wrong option. Suppose I might have marked the wrong option. They have as glucopyranose and fructofuranose, right? Sorry, fructofuranose has a C two center, right? And glucopyranose has a C one center, right? So it will be option two, not option one. Glucopyranose is having C one center, and fructofuranose is having C two center. That is what. Magnetic needle is a non-uniform magnetic field. 
if it is kept in a non magnetic field, it will experience both a force as well as a torque. Why? Net force is uh, experienced by magnetic needle. I suppose you're giving a needle like this. And suppose you have uh, kept in a magnetic field, it's actually non magnetic right? Over it is B1, over it is B2, over it is B3. So what is happening? This force and this force, both will first of all uh, cause a torque since they are uh, acting uh, about a line of axis. But since the magnitude of force F started over here and here, so F1 not equals to F2, hence F net is not equals to zero. Torque net is not anywhere is not equals to zero, but force is also not equals to zero over here, and hence. There will be a force as well as torque. Next is there. There is an equivalent resistance circuit that has been given in the terminus P and Q, which is basically a four ohm in the given circuit. And we have to find the resistance of R and X. Okay, let us find it out. It is a very easy question to uh, answer over here. Like this can be easily answered. That is why I am saying it is easy to answer. Uh, okay. So what is happening uh, over here? Key. First of all, uh, if we are going to reduce the circuit, it is going to reduce to this form. R by three, R and R. Since all these three. Combined from R by three. So moving forward, what will we get? What will we, what will, what will we get? We will be basically getting this thing as a four R by three, and we'll be getting an R down. Okay. This first solution will give us what four R by three into R into two by four R by three plus R will be seven R by three. So what is going to happen? This thing will be getting cut, and we'll be able left with eight R by seven. That is equals to four. So what is going to happen here? R is equal to three point five one. Answer is not over here. It's not matching. Let's solve this one because um, this, this is such a question which can be managed. Wait a minute. Um, we have to just uh, cancel out this solution of this question once more and solve this once again. Um, see, over here, first of all, we can uh, solve out uh, all of these by ruling out some conditions over here that are present. We can take a point P. From that point, uh, we can consider one resistance R going, one resistance R going, and one resistance R going, and one downward line and one line going downward okay all these three r's will meet together at some point will from one more r and that will be going on from one q okay so all this line is easily moved okay so what is happening we can uh, remove all of these uh, lines to form one single line that is called uh, r by three along with this r and this r downwards to so first of all uh, form over here what a four r by three and R is there. So what will happen? You know, this is written to it. So R will be coming out with seven ohms. And so now the answer has come out at seven ohms. See what is happening here. You have to just understand the basics of the series and parallel connections. That will be enough to uh, get through, get you through the question. You need not understand the entire topic or sometimes the entire stuff to you know solve a question. So see, we have still one hour left, and we are left with only the one third of the paper. For all the for all the two thirds of the paper. This is how paper strategy should be maintained. I'm talking while solving the questions, and still the paper is getting completed within no time. Okay, this is uh, the basic strategy of solving a paper. Coming back to the question in series RLC circuit, the RMS velocity for a cross resistor inductor are given to us. We have also been given the equation for the applied voltage. We have to find the peak voltage across the capacitor. This is some question for which you need the understanding of phasor diagrams very well. That uh, there will be always a resistor on this side, the L on this side, and C on this side. Okay. And now you have been given the peak voltage. I mean, across the resistor, resistor and inductor have been given. Okay. What resistor across it is Sarso. Across the inductor, it is what Sarso. Okay. And across the capacitor, to find it out. If E is equals to 500 root 2 sine omega T volt, then how does psi over omega 2 come out over here? You are understand this thing, right? So you have been given the RMS velocity of the system. Let us find the peak velocity. So peak velocity is S root 2 and S root 2. Right? So if you apply a velocity of, sorry, velocity or voltage of 300 root 2 over here, this will be, sorry, not, not even 300 root 2. You can even apply a velocity of uh, 400 root 2 over here. Yes, 400 root 2. What will happen? It will be getting cut. These two are going to get cut and a net of 300 root 2 applies at the bottom, sum of which two. This is a 500 root 2 on this side. So, can this be 400 root 2? Let us find out. So, this is how you can uh, solve the questions. Okay. Next, there is a potential meter experiment. Where is there is a cell of. Uh, um, let me see where I can write solutions more. 
So there is a potentiometer experiment where there is basically a cell of EMF 1.4 volt, 5 volt, connected in secondary circuit, giving a balancing in the 160 centimeter on the wire. Now, if a resistance of 5 ohm is connected parallel to the cell, the balancing link becomes 160 centimeter, right? So we find the internal, internal resistance is what. Okay. For these types of questions, basically, uh, there is a very simple technique to follow. That is a formula that stands somewhat like R is equals to uh, R into one minus L one by L two. Um, but I would not suggest you to apply the formula. This is a pure um, pair approach to go for these types of questions. Okay. Here, what you can do is you can simply take a potentiometer. Okay. And you can do what you can attach as a cell uh, in parallel to it. And in the next uh, situation, you can do what you can take a potentiometer, you can attach a cell, and you can attach a resistance in parallel to it. Okay. Now, what is going to happen? One time it's the EMF that is you're getting, one time it's E minus I R is that we're getting. Okay, now. So, this is the fact uh, we know what we need, we know I is equals to basically what? We know that I is equals to what? I is equals to E by R plus R. So, what is basically happening? I already getting E minus E R by R plus R, right? So what you're getting, uh, I'm just transferring this question. You have to basically equals to E R by R plus R. Okay, that's what is this thing. So if I can tell, tell that E is equivalent to 165 uh, centimeter and E R by R plus R is equivalent to 150 centimeter. That means I can say simply, that there is E by E R by R plus R is equal to 165 by 150. Cutting down to 11 by 10. 2 is also got. So basically R plus R by R giving us uh, 11 by 10. Or oh, there's a resistance of 5 ohm. So I can write 5 plus R by 5 is equal to 11 by 10. So when we can solve this thing, what will we get? We'll get uh, 50 plus 10 R is equal to 55. 10 R is equal to 55, 55 only. So R is going to be equal to 0 0.5. Coming on to the next question of solenoid, it has an inductance 50 milli Henry and a resistance of 0.25 ohm, 0 to 5 ohm. Now, if I connect this to a battery, how long will it take uh, for the current to reach to the half and half of its final equilibrium value? There is again something which uh, involves your uh, common sense. This is not something like a uh, question like that. So. You have given a solenoid, right? With an inductance and a resistance. Connect to a battery. Um, this is a question of uh, say oscillation, of battery, I suppose. Okay, I will solve these tests, these questions later on. There's the linear charge density that is given. Or upper half segment of the ring is alpha. And the lower half segment is minus uh, uh sorry. On the upper half it is lambda and lower half it is minus lambda, right? We find the direction of electric field in the center of O. Center O, right? So how will you find the thing? Okay, let us apply some common sense over here. This is easy to answer. We can answer this, right? Let us try. Direction of electric field center O. So to answer this, we can apply this technique. Um, C. Let us make reasoning first. Okay. Supposing the reasoning. Okay. But there is a positive charge in the first half, and there is a negative charge in the second half. And supposing the reasoning. So what is happening over here? Uh, we are seeing that the uh, positive charge is getting attracted towards this side. And for the negative charges, what is happening? There is a repulsion. Sorry. For the positive charges, there is a repulsion like this. This is for the positive charges and this is for the negative charges, right? So what is happening? There will be a net movement along this direction. Net movement, which is along OC. Okay. This is a pure vectorial question. Positive charges have an electric field away from the center, or away from the direction in which they are coming, radiating outwards. Well, negative charges of the electric field radiating inwards. These two concepts will be solving this question over here. Coming forward, we get to see that there is a point charge surrounded by eight identical charges at a distance r at from the figure. Okay, how much work is done by the force of electric repulsion when the point is when the center is moved to infinity? When the point charge center, center is moved to infinity, it finds a change which is equivalent to the electric field divided by all the eight charges. That is equal to what? Eight into k q by r. Or we can write k as 8 uh, cube by 4 pi epsilon naught r. Whatever you want to write, you can write. This means mass is options. Because when you're finding the work done, you don't need to use the force over here. Mm, next, we come to question number 140. Uh, then we get to see that there's a curl loop of ABCD carrying current i and placed near and coplanar with a long straight conductor xi carrying current capital I. Then what is going to happen? 
Monad force or what? Let us see. Okay. See this square loop is carrying what? Current small m, and a long straight conductor x y carries current capital I. So this is the case of mutual inductance. But since the loop current loop the loop is there, the, the loop will experience more I suppose. Okay. We have to see every single aspect that is present over here. When will the loop be attracted? When will be happening? When will what be happening and stuff like that? Okay. There is a particular condition that the loop will be attracted. In genuinity, there will be no net force in the loop. Okay, let's solve the cyclotron question. The cyclotron of a deuteron can get an again an energy of 40 million volt. Then a proton can get an energy of how many million electron volt? C. But basically, that uh, energy just the energy just milta hai na basically. वो होता है चार्ज के बेसिस पर होता है ठीक है ना अब देख न्यूट्रॉन के पास क्या होता है ना कि चार्ज डबल होता है कंपेयर टू प्रोटॉन तो इफ वी सी है ना चार्ज के अंदर से क्वेश्चन होता है बात चार्ज अगर डबल हो जाए चार्ज अगर आधा हो गया ना तो एनर्जी डबल होता है बिकॉज अ प्रोटॉन विल मूव फास्टर एंड हेंस गेन मोर एनर्जी लाइक कॉमन सेंस इज दैट हेंस व्हाट इज हैपनिंग प्रोटॉन इज हैविंग लेसर चार्ज एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ लेसर चार्ज दैट इज हैविंग इज हैविंग रिलेटेड टू द न्यूट्रॉन हम लोग उसके अनुसार निकाल सकते हैं ओके सी देयर इज अ वैलेंस कांस्टेंट बी गिवन अस एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द टेंपरेचर ऑफ द सन हैविंग अ मैक्सिमम इंटेंसिटी एट रेडिएशन ऑफ 5 हर्ट्ज एंगस्ट्रॉम्स ओके व्हाट विल बी द थिंग सो वी हैव टू डू व्हाट द लैम्डा एंड द टेंपरेचर इज इक्वल टू अ कांस्टेंट कॉल बी व्हाट इज हैपनिंग देयर इज 5000 के इनटू द टेंपरेचर इज इक्वल टू 3/10 सो व्हाट इज गोना हैपन इज दैट This temperature will be equal to three by ten into the minus two into the power nine into one by five into into the power minus three. So this might lead us to uh, three by ten into the power uh, three over it. Okay, so is it is it three? It's three. So it is it is it was something around six thousand Kelvin. The answer will be that will be on the answer. That there is this thing. Okay, so find the net work done by the system. First of all, since the work done is happening in an anti-clockwise way, the work done will be positive. And now we have to find out how much I want the work is done. Okay, okay, that's it. It is hundred kilopascal. It is hundred kilopascal into two hundred cubic centimeter. So it's something and something and a thousand twenty only, and the work will be positive only. So it can be twenty. Right chances. Suppose the idea that the question follows this equation. Okay, V Q is equal to constant. This is this is a question of a polytropic process. If there is a V P Q is equal to a constant, na, we can write this P V to the power one by three is equal to constant also. Okay, initial temperature and all are given. So if gas expands to minus one V, the temperature will become what? It has asked simply as that much only. Okay, if P V to the power one by three is constant, is given. So you know that P V is equal to T. So what's going to happen uh, is that uh, okay? Now what we're going to do is p into v two minus two by three is equal to three dash into twenty seven v two minus two by three. This so will lead into what? T into v two minus two by three is equal to three dash into twenty seven will convert to convert to three and will be converted into three v two minus two. Okay, and over here it's like this. We have to cancel out some things over here. Maybe the calculation was simpler. It will be like uh, wait. This calculation will get like this. Okay, twenty-seven into minus two by three, and v to the power minus two by three. Better one. And v to the minus two by three. These two will cancel, and we will have to get t is equal to t dash into uh, one by nine. Okay, so t dash will equal to ninety. Next, there is a clock which keeps correct time at 20 degrees centigrade, 20 kilometers per hour. Glass, glass. How many seconds will it gain or lose per day? Okay. Then temperature falls to zero degrees centigrade. Okay. See, we know uh, the time period is equal to uh, two pi under root of L by three, right? But what is happening? This two pi is equal to basically this L is equal to what? This L is equal to what? Uh, if we are uh, taking a delta t, we are going to write delta L by g uh, under root. So this uh, time is supposed to coming out as uh, uh, L alpha delta t by. So what is happening? If we uh, now simplify this thing, let us replace temperature by theta. It will be easier for us to solve one. 
okay so something like this is, is there so what we can do is we can we can make we can we can apply uh, simple simple techniques to solve these things okay uh, what we can do is ki there is theta is equal to 2 pi l by g na we can do what is ki uh, we can take uh, delta theta by theta is equals to half into delta l by l and then delta theta by theta is equals to what half l alpha delta t by l okay then we can cancel this two and we can get delta theta is equals to a delta tem uh, this this is what this is this is this is this is sorry one one once one mistake that i have done is uh, over here that this will be a uh, time now so time let's keep it like uh, normal okay while let's change this thing to theta because this is temperature you can change temperature to theta right so yes what is going to be this is going to be alpha delta theta into time by two uh, now okay and remove this even now down okay so you can get this change in time like this okay let's solve this thing now normally it is uh, 18 into 10 to the power minus 6 uh, into delta theta is how much it is equal to 20 degrees or whatever and time is generally what 86 by 0 0 by 2 so what is going to happen is uh this one convert to 10 there will be 18 into 864 into uh there will be like uh, 1 2 3 0 then then minus 3 will be there whatever we get we have we are going to like uh, get convert to getting credit convert to very uh, small values so getting 864 into uh, 18 now what we are going to get there is something like 6 and 1 2 and 864 So it's like two, uh, five, and five, and fifteen. Uh, so it's only one two point five we're getting. We are going to like get this fifteen point something. Fifteen point five five seven. Yes. Okay. Next, there is this question. Um, a mixture of two fifty gram water and two hundred gram of ice at thirty degrees negative temperature in a calorimeter of water equal to three dollars. Two dollars fifteen is past mixture of two hundred water and two hundred gram. So solving this two uh, portions, uh, we will be getting to see that. Uh, okay. And now, if uh two hundred grams steam is what is what is what what is we are going to pass now, okay, then amount of water in the mixture is left. Okay, so here we have to first take the uh little bit of evaporation of the steam and all. Okay, have to see what is going to happen. Okay, first of all, there is like two hundred grams steam now. So two hundred gram into uh uh for uh like five forty calories will give us it's it's actually a huge amount. Okay. Um, it's it's gonna be huge amount. So keep it like this. This is the amount of heat that we are given. Or what we what heat we require? We need two hundred two hundred into eighty eight to convert ice to water, right? So yeah, full ice will be converted. Full ice is converted, right? So still we have heat left, right? So we have been asked that how much amount of water will be there in the mixture? It will actually be two fifty grams of water. This 200 grams of ice will entirely be converted to water, and 200 grams of steam. Since we are converting using this heat to convert it into like you know, uh, what ice to water, so this entire steam will not be converted to water. So it will be how much? It will be 650 grams of water. Okay. Or there is a PV graph we have been given. We have to do the cyclic. We have to select the process. Okay. We have to wait to select the correct option. I mean, okay. See, they have told us that the delta Q of K to B is negative. Okay. They have told us that uh, there is a cyclic process. Um, why have then they taken a PV graph? Because it's an isothermal process. It's basically an isothermal process. Right? That's why they have taken taken a PV graph. Okay, but see, we have to we have to check now whether it's isothermal process or not. What is happening? We have to check and answer. Okay, we cannot answer it like this. A to B. If you are going from A to B, we have to check this thing. Ah, uh, we are going like this, na. So what is going to happen? Delta Q of this one. See, they have asked delta Q, delta U, delta W. Because they know that ah, uh, this is a very good question. They ask like this. See, delta W is negative. This is um not a correct question. Because anti-clockwise the work is positive, you know this thing. Okay, but then delta U is positive. Why is delta U positive for B to C? Because um, in this case, what is happening? The work done that we are seeing now over here is uh an isobaric work. Okay, and since the work is isobaric, what is happening? We know this thing you know, that if we are supplying heat, it can either convert to potential energy, it can either convert to work. Right. But in first of all, now in this case, if there is an iso uh iso baric work. What will be happening? This P delta V, okay. In this thing, basically there will be a uh, very uh, less amount of uh, this thing. Uh, for this go, uh, I should have. This this thing this thing this thing like uh, you can uh, from from in terms of ratios, okay. 
which is something happening. And in the case of AC, if we see, uh, work done of uh, CAB, the bus, so directly. I think it'll be all of these because even I'm not sure actually which options correct in this case. Because somewhat I know something which is actually confusing. Yeah, and this graph was actually illustrating. So, so yeah, difference between CP and CV, if you are going to see these are modular quantities of uh, heat change and at uh, constant volume heat at constant pressure, constant volume. Okay. So now CV and CP and CV, when it is taken in terms of molar quantities, this will be equal in every case. Okay. Not see there is a kinematics question. That's the kinematics. This is my favorite question actually. Kinematics. Okay. What is the from rest of acceleration? Velocity after n seconds is v. And this displacement in the last few seconds will be how much? They have asked this question. So velocity after n seconds. Let's say it started. So the acceleration that they've got is n by v. Okay, not a big deal. The acceleration that they've got is what? n by v, right? Then let us do this thing. Mm. We are going to find out the displacement of the body in the last two seconds. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Let us find out it in this way that uh, we are going to find out the s n f and we are going to find out the s n minus one. F. Okay. These two are going to find. Sn is equal to how we write this thing. We write this thing u plus half a 2n minus 1. And so let us u plus half a 2 into n minus 1 minus 1. Okay. Then I will write u is cancelled anyhow. What is going to happen? Half into n by v into 2n minus 1 plus half into n by v into 2n minus 3. Okay. What is going to happen? We are going to take the common things out half into n by v, and the inner thing we are going to solve 2 into n by v into n minus 1. So, yes, sorry, this will be v by n. What am I doing? This is v by n. All of them will be like v by n. Okay, next is what ball is projected upwards from the top of a tower with a velocity of 50 meter per second. So, you can angle the degree to the until higher than 70 meter. How many seconds the ball will reach step down? Okay, top of the tower, say. See, this is like situation. Top of the tower, say, man, we have a per second, correct? Right? Right. In the degree, how does it have 20 meter? They were asked after how much time the ball will reach the ground. It's a simple question, uh, which they have asked. So, how many seconds are they have asked? The time is equal to what? 2 h by g. This is what I can say next. Oh, sorry, the ball will also go up. I cannot apply directly this thing. This is something which I can't directly apply. I'm so sorry for applying this thing. Uh, we can first break this component into two parts. Uh, this part will be what? This part will be up uh, to sine theta. This part will be 10 frame meter per second. So, if there is uh, like this thing to what we can do is keep it and apply this thing uh, over here. The S is equals to ut plus half a t square. S really minus 70 is equals to 25 uh, t plus half into minus 10 into t square. So, yes, seven seconds it will take. We have to convert this into quadratic and solve. Okay. And while solving, keep one thing in mind that is uh, always take the positive direction as negative and negative direction is uh, downward as negative and upward as positive. This is one in one room you can help you to you know solve these questions easily. Okay. Now there is an expression that says there is a linear density of a vibrating string that they have given us. Okay. And they have given us a transfer state propagating on the string, and they described the equation y is equal to 0 0.021 sine x plus d. Okay, where there's x and y given and we have the tension in the string. Okay. So, yes, when you find when I've been asked to find the uh, density on a vibrating string, you have to uh, use some techniques over here. This is the formula of tension of the string. Okay, you can directly use that. See, we know this thing that velocity is equal to tension by rho, right? And uh, how do we write velocity? We write rho omega by k is equal to tension by rho, right? What we can do is we can find out omega and this thing, and we can do this thing, right? Omega is 30, k is 1, the equation tension is how much, we don't know. And density is what we know is uh, given to us, 1.3. Omega simply squared is what we can find out. That 900 into 1.3 into the power minus uh, 4. So it comes out to be what? It comes out to be uh, something like uh, something like 0.11 to 0.15, so close to it. Okay. Uh, you know, in need, uh, whatever physics question comes, it won't be involving much of a calculation. It will be involving more of your brain than your calculation. So uh, keep that thing in mind and use your brain very, very wisely. Okay. Rather than uh, thinking too much about uh, theoretical aspects, nah, use your practical mindset to solve questions. They'll be more helpful to solve rather than anything. 
So there is like a parabolic bowl with the bottom at origin and the shape like y is equal to x square by 20. Okay. The maximum height to a small mass m can be placed on the bowl you are slipping is how much? C. If there is like a parabolic bowl like this, okay. What am I doing? Leave it. There's a bowl surface like this, and which is supposed keeping a ball like this. And uh, there will be obviously uh what am I what can I say? There'll be obviously a uh, mg like this, and when the ball is gonna come down, so there'll be a friction acting like this, right? And there will be obviously a friction acting like this as mg cos theta will be acting like this, and there will be basically a new mg acting like this, like it's now for the normal. Okay. So you have to be very, very cautious about key, uh, that new mg should be balancing this thing. Okay. So how can that happen? How will that happen? What will be our answer? Okay. This we should be very, very careful about. Okay. So when we are saying that, uh, let's be a bit more practical. Uh, this is something I think so we need some time to solve this thing. Let's solve other questions. For collisions T. Collisions may momentum is conserved. Not in less in less this is not true. Total kinetic energy is conserved in this thing, but momentum is not conserved. This is also not true. Kinetic energy is not conserved in less than the momentum is conserved. This is true. Yes. Child is standing on one and a long period, moving on speed one slow one. A trolley is there moving on the speed V. Child is standing on one end. And this child also starts uh, running towards the center of the other end of the trolley at the speed U. So center of this uh, mass system will now move with what speed? So what is happening in the next question? Let's see. There is a molecule of mass M. Okay. It is moving with the velocity of V. And it basically elastically impinges okay, on the wall at angle alpha. Okay. There is a molecule of mass M moving at velocity V and elastically impinging on the wall at an angle alpha. Okay. Okay. So now what we have to do? We have to first uh, put the component over here. And uh, the, the ball will obviously go like this, right? So what is happening if we are taking one take components now we are going to see that uh, this horizontal component is the one which is changing okay the horizontal component is changing so what is going to happen with the horizontal component if you are going to uh, make that angle alpha copy out so it will be coming out as mv uh, cos alpha so impulse is impulse is equals to what impulse is equals to what 2 mv cos alpha okay next what is there there is a hollow vertical cylinder of various sizes this is a good question. Let us solve this question. Okay. There is a horizontal cylinder. Okay. With there's a radius r and there is a height h and small internal surface is there. We have a small internal particle okay in contact uh, at point p suppose. And we have given a speed v not tangential to the ring. And now 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 it does go on and on and on like this, like this, like this, and leave at point q. So how many revolutions are the particle if they will ask if they're gonna ask so how what will you tell? It will be first of all like uh, see the particle is doing a free fall okay not going like this we can go about it like this okay so over it is v not so uh, yes yes it's going to make revolutions like this 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 this, this and it's going to leave like this okay at point q so how many revolutions see one will be two h by g but one will also be v not by two by r now so it will be involving some friction like this in the strong figure all surfaces are smooth and two are smooth and the center must move in this direction this is moving downwards and it is not moving, it will be moving a bit behind. The center of mass will be moving one. Since you need to move Karana, or if you move Karana, center of mass can move in the Kuba. Kind of downwards. Downwards, downwards. You see, there is an acceleration of what is the attraction of the earth at a distance 12 from the surface of earth. G by 3 is the answer. So there is two mass, what is the mass of one and infinity of earth, present in the distance of earth. They are then allowed to move together to each towards each other when they are uh, like under mutual gravitational attraction. What is the relative velocity when they are distance apart? Okay. Now to find that out, uh, what we can do over here is uh, so if we are going to talk about that, uh, then it will be coming out as see, there's a particle which moves that so there's the acceleration is given by a is equals to minus bx. Okay. So we have to find out the period of the oscillation of the particle. Okay. So how can we do that? Where here we know that uh, omega squared is equals to b. So omega is equal to what? Omega is equal to root over of b. So what is going to happen over here? The period of oscillation is going to be 2 pi by omega. There's only time period, right? So 2 pi by root over of b. Then what is there? We are almost at the end of the paper. So let's solve it quickly. The displacement two particles and two identical particles are excluding SHM are given by questions. Okay. X1 and X2. So what value omega? The energy of both the particles is going to be same. So there is a displacement of two particles and the particles is going to be okay. So how are you going to solve this thing? See, they've asked for the energy class. Okay. So if you're going to talk about the energy now, 
here uh, this question requires a uh, very simple logic that what will happen here is the partition axis where having suppose uh, 10 units over here and now that is inclined to what 5 by 6 angle so the, we get 10 over here right so this 10 over here is equivalent to 5 by 3 over here so what value over here will you satisfy you have to basically find out what 10 cos 5 by 3 that is equal to what 10 into let's go back that is equal to what 5 into 1.73 something will be equal to like uh, 8 units approximately 8 units we have the cubical block floating in a liquid with half of the volume is emerged in the liquid okay when the whole system accelerates upward the new fraction of uh, gy3 what is the fraction of volume emerged in the liquid sorry system is accelerating upwards of gy3 this means that there will be a g by 3 plus g that is what a 4 g by 3 of course that's what is over here right right so now how much of the volume will be exposed in the liquid that they have asked us okay uh not doing much of a calculation that is too simple calculation that is equals to what rho s v s g is equals to rho l v l g okay we are going to do this simple calculation okay not doing this calculation what we get as answer is um rho s uh is not given to us or v is not given to us okay Half of its volumes and must have been drawn. Now see, G will be eventually cancelled. So it doesn't even matter that how much of the value, how much of the value is G, the volume must be same. Okay. Capillary to experiment what we are doing. We are basically taking a surface in the middle on capillary tube, dipping it in water. Water is rising up to height 10 centimeters in the capillary reaction. So if temperature is increasing, then what will be the height of the capillary? Uh, like uh, what will be the height in the capillary? Okay. See. Water temperature if it increases or decreases, that will have no effect on capillarity because here it is also all in ribbon on super surface tension. So see, surface tension decreases with temperature, right? But we know what thing what is thing uh, 2s by r is equals to rho g h. Okay. Okay. So what is happening? If surface tension is decreasing, the height will decrease. That is how the function is solved. Okay. There is actually a simple question. See. In physics, always apply simple principles. Simple principles will always solve the questions. Okay, you need not think about what is uh, there or what is not. Just apply a simple ideas, and that is that will be enough. Okay. Now see, we have we have done what over here. We have kept a square root in yz thing. What will happen? I by plus i z will give us i x. Shell of mass twenty kg explodes into masses of two, two and three ratio. Did you tell me? So twenty kg is now exploding into what? One part is of uh, twelve kg, and one part is of eight kg. It exploded in two parts. Okay. And the smaller part is moving at what? 6 meter per second. So, what will be the uh, kinetic energy larger fragment? First of all, it will move at 4 meter per second. And when we find its kinetic energy to be half into mv square 96 joule. In 166, number question, what is the left one? Each atom is make a time transition transition of uh, n from 3 to 1. So, what will be the recoil momentum of the H atom? We will ask about the recoil momentum. Okay. So here again, we have to solve the question very, very uh, cunningly. Okay. Magnetic momentum, angular momentum. This ratio is what? It's ratio is E by 2. There is a radioactive sample whose disintegration rate we have been given 5,000 dpm. Okay. After 5 pm, the rate is 1,000 dpm. So what is the decay constant per minute? If it's from 5,000 decreasing to 1 to 5, 0, just quickly, then what is the decay constant per minute? Okay. We've been asked. Now for this thing, uh, you need to apply this thing. What is that? Okay. See. Log uh, five. This is basically a solve some of chemical kinetics, but we have solved it. See, always I would I would suggest to this thing that whenever you are solving any question of um area to decay, use first order chemical kinetics and solve. I use the simple first order chemical kinetics equation, put the solution, and I got the answer of lambda. That is a decay, decay constant. Okay. Then what is there? There is a metallic surface of threshold wavelength 4 lambda eliminated with that of wavelength lambda. Stopping potential is V. We have eliminated by the length of light of wavelength 2 lambda. Stopping potential is V by 3. Same type of question was given in uh, NEET 2022. Okay. And this question turned out to be incorrect due to their incorrect logic, but they were that question mathematically solvable. Hence, they kept the correct answer, but that is actually legibly not correct. But whatever, we cannot uh, battle with NTA. So we have to be in our uh, you know thoughtful processes when we solve questions. Okay. That's it. So, we basically have played this technique. Uh, that is, uh, uh, we apply light wavelength h nu. It is going to give what? It is going to be some kinetic energy. 
and plus some work potential theek hai na these two will be are totally involved okay in the electric like, energy which is okay so what we are doing is we are going we are going to xc by lambda is equals to what ke plus the stopping potential so they have asked over here for the what final minimum value of f a will start slipping over b is b is a okay and you are applying a force over here due to which one friction force happening over and one friction force applying over here okay what is happening basically uh, this f should be equals to this f when this slipping will start okay and what is going to happen you have to be uh, like mu1 into the n1 as equal to the f should be there and this is 2 by 10 into electron propagated proton proton propagated in the form of waves in the same wavelength it implies that they have the same magnitude of for given logic plate what is the fixed table see this is an and gate okay and gate and followed by a not okay so what is going to happen whatever we are going to write we are going to have a not for that okay so if you having 0 1 it is a 1 but we have a 0 so it's an and gate and in case of and gate what happens is that we put a plus sign in between okay so in the case of and gate we we put a multiply sign in between like this okay In the case of and, we put a multiply sign in between. What is going to happen? Zero into one is equal to what? Zero. Zero into zero is equal to one to one one, and one to zero is zero. But they have not done the not portion. So this portion is not correct, but this is correct. This is going to be correct. And it's told them. So number C is the one. In a transistor, which one is the most highly doped? The emitter is more highly doped. The ground glass prism, ground glass prism of refracting angle six degrees used to be deviated for deviation. That great discussion. With the flint glass angle of um, with the with the with the flint for the flint glass of angle of prism alpha. So we have to find the new one, new V, and all things. Okay. So this kind of a three degree kind of thing, na. Okay. So here is the kind of a point two degree thing. So here is the point one degree thing. So here the angle will be what? Root two. One point four four. How many years did he? Four. One point four four. It is reflected from the base. Yes, right. So it so it is so blue color reflected from the base. Third wave front is a very good one. Third wave. Um, the contrast in the fringes in any interference pattern. It depends on what. If you want to find the contrast, it will be different. It will be it will be differentiated by fringe width is always going to be same. Then then there is no difference. It will be the difference in the intensity ratio. Option again the questions that are grouped in the ground tissues again or some bio biology questions. Okay, these will be the breeders. Okay, so all tissues internal to the ground tissue will pass. Now. So ground tissues basically all tissues are epidermal and vascular bundles, and this is a transistor question. Even as for the voltage gain, seventy is one of the thing. Okay, so yes, so we have solved all the questions almost. So see, we have solved all the questions. We have just left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven questions. Okay, eleven questions. I want to forty four marks. So I'm going to attempt some more questions. If I'm, I'm going to try attempting some more questions. Okay, so this is what I will be like. Um, uh, better be like ending the paper. And after ending my paper, I will be trying to like answer some messages. See, the first thing that I want to say is that uh, always uh, keep a fixed strategy of aprending first bio, then chemistry first, and then physics. This will be a standard strategy. If someone else is like uh, okay with another strategy, they can surely uh, go through that. But other than that, uh, this strategy is like the best one. Okay, because here you can uh, do the bio most quickly. Okay, then chemistry, and organic first, and then organic, and then you can go for the physical. And then finally, the time that is left, we can invest then in physics. Okay. Other than that, what I would say is, uh, if you are stuck in any question, like I was stuck in many questions, so don't waste time over there. You saw that the question is maybe like you don't remember the formula, or maybe you don't remember the particular thing, and some difficulty was there. So don't try to uh, waste time on that. It's okay sometimes that you don't remember, but that doesn't mean that you have to stick to another question. There are many other questions to wait for. Also. Don't waste time on an easy question. That is the most important keyword, okay? Because this is what uh, leads to the demise of many people, many good people, okay, who study hard but they don't get the marks because they are wasting time on easy questions. They are thinking like this is easy question. They think we are going to waste time on this one. No, easy questions are meant to be done quickly because tough questions will need time. Okay, so this is what I have to say from this paper. This is this is about overall uh, good paper that I would I had solved. And since I am out of practice of physics, so I had to leave some questions of physics. But I had tried to remember most of the formulas. Okay, so yes, this is why this is what my review is. Okay, for this paper, I solved this paper in all front of you. Okay, with my rough works, I did front as an as shown over here. Okay.
so you could uh, you all could just get a brief idea and try not to do any rough work to biology and it's like biotechnology or genetics okay or something like cosmetic question okay otherwise it's all okay like in organic you can do rough work in the coordination organic i'll always say write the mechanisms and do normal case please draw the structure and do okay in the case of inorganic isomerism, please draw the structure. Redox reaction balancing, always draw the structure, always draw the structures and do. Okay. Comparison of bond lengths, draw the structures and do. Okay. And the physics, obviously, you have to write and do the numericals. That is where I uh, use most of my pen pen work. Okay. Also in physics, I didn't use it all at, at all places. Because sometimes it was very, very easy to solve. So I solved it on all, all on my own. Okay. So this is what my review was on this paper. Okay. That is it. I'm ending up paper, submitting the paper. Like, what is the submit button? Okay, this is it. I solved, I didn't solve 10 questions. That's all I solved.